Chapter 1081 To be convinced translator, born to be Long Chen's mood was excellent. He felt like he had never been so happy. During this month, after training day and night, he had finally managed to learn how to control Starfall. The long cast time had been reduced from three breaths to just a single breath. Although that was still a long time to experts, as long as you understood how to create opportunities, it was possible to unleash this move now. Other than that, by consuming medicinal pills like crazy, his cultivation base had reached the 12th vestige of sea expansion. He would be able to attack foundation forging soon. Right now, practically all the intersect disciples had already reached the peak of sea expansion. But no one had attacked foundation forging yet. They all hoped to stay in the sea expansion realm for a bit longer to lay a solid foundation. That would be more beneficial to their future cultivation. It seemed that in all his life, this was his first time keeping up with his fellows. His cultivation base was no longer miles behind the others. Long Chen. Long Chen had only just entered his residence when a burst of fragrance washed over him. Men Qi, you're finally back. I really missed you. Long Chen didn't even think about it before pulling Men Qi into a tight embrace. It had been several months since they had seen each other. Holding her, he couldn't help lowering his head, finding her lips, and giving her a kiss. Men Qi quivered and tightly held Long Chen's waist. It was like only through such a method could they express their longing for each other. They didn't know how much time had passed before they finally separated. Men Qi was red, a tender light in her eyes. She had felt like she was about to melt into Long Chen. Men Qi, you're so beautiful, praised Long Chen involuntarily. Men Qi reddened even more. No matter how beautiful the woman, they would still like being praised by others for their beauty, especially when it came from the person they loved. Aya, I forgot. Come with me. Grabbing Long Chen, she dragged him away. What is it? Long Chen was dumbfounded, following her out of the room. It's all your fault. I forgot. You need to go over for the drills, said Men Qi. Drills? What drills? All the combat and support disciples are gathered to do drills. That way, they can work together on the battlefield to kill their enemies, said Men Qi. It was no wonder he hadn't seen any dragon blood warriors on Crouching Dragon Mountain. While he had been in his seclusion, he hadn't known anything about the matter. Long Chen was dragged over to the Intersect Plaza by Men Qi. Arriving there, he saw over 200,000 Intersect Disciples drilling formations, and a Foundation Forging Disciple was giving out orders for them. Seeing that person, Long Chen frowned. He had seen that person before. He had been with Gao Xianyang back then. Long Chen, you're late. What are you still waiting for? Hurry up and return to your faction, ordered the Foundation Forging Disciple. Brother Long, boss. Two people in the crowd immediately let out loud cries upon seeing Long Chen. The two of them were wild and Yuzifeng. They were both emotional to see him. Shut up. You still don't know the slightest thing about proper conduct? Do you realize we're in the midst of drills? Roared the foundation forging disciple. Long Chen ignored him. Standing outside the formation, with his hands clasped behind his back, he coldly looked over the Dragonblood Legion. That action infuriated the foundation forging disciple even more. And he shouted, Long Chen, are you deaf? I ordered you to return to your faction. If you keep making such a racket, I'll kill you. Long Chen glanced icily at the foundation forging disciple. He was no longer the old him. He had no fear for a mere rank 5 foundation forging celestial. Long Chen overlooked the dragon blood legion. Who told you to do drills? It was. Guo Ran was stunned. Was it me? Asked Long Chen. No, if it wasn't, then why did you come here? Why drill such a dogshit formation? Are you trying to make your enemies laugh themselves to death? Furthermore, you're all warriors of the Dragonblood Legion. Other than me, no one has the qualifications to order you to do anything. Tell me, when will you grow some brains instead of being treated like dogs for other people's amusement? Scolded Long Chen. Guo Ran didn't make a sound. When he had received orders from the senior disciples to participate in drills with all the intersect disciples. He hadn't even thought about it before bringing everyone. Long Chen, you're courting death, roared the foundation forging disciple. Long Chen was actually looking down on him. Kill him, Long Chen snorted. As a result, in front of all the intersect disciples' stunned gazes, the Dragonblood Legion's warriors charged at the foundation forging disciple. The first thing to arrive was a cold ray of sword key. It was incomparably fast. Wherever it passed, it felt as if heaven and earth were being sliced apart. The foundation forging disciple was horrified. He hadn't expected this many people to attack him just because of Long Chen's word. 
Furthermore, this sword attack was especially appalling. He took out a huge shield. The shield's runes lit up, unleashing a light barrier. A thick aura came from it that made it obvious that its defensive power was immense. But once that sword key arrived, blood splashed from his chest. The sword key had gone through the shield and injured him. Only after he was injured did half of the shield he was holding fall to the ground. Everyone sucked in a cold gasp of air. That powerful shield had actually been cut through by Yu Zifeng's sword key. Furthermore, that cut was completely flat and smooth. His sword attack shocked them all. Without that shield, the foundation forging disciple would probably have been cut in two. You're all courting death. Tiger whistling key grand art. The foundation forging disciples heavenly Dao runes appeared, and a faint tiger whistle rang through the air. Light circulated around him, and the pressure of a foundation forging expert appeared. People seemed to be able to see a roaring tiger in his runes. Die. But that foundation forging disciple had just unleashed his aura when a huge bone club swung over. Boom. Wild. Who was in his barbarian blood bronze body, smashed his club at the foundation forging disciple. Despite doing his best to resist, he was still sent flying. That club was too vicious. Just the whistling sound of it swinging through the air made people feel a stinging pain in their ears. As for the smashing sound, it resounded heavily in their eardrums, and they were unable to hear anything else for a while. This one attack stupefied everyone, and they looked in horror at the 30 meter wild. They had never seen such a giant. At this time, Wilde was holding his bone club with an uncomprehending expression. Due to how much power he had used in that last attack, the only thing remaining of his bone club was the lower half. The rest of it had shattered. As for the foundation forging disciple, he was even more miserable. Not only had his heavenly Dao runes disappeared, but his body below his waist had also disappeared. His face was pale as paper and filled with terror. Just now, if he hadn't instinctively sensed the danger and raised his body, he would be dead already. Damn. Wild actually knows how to use his energy now. Long Chen was delighted. When Wild had attacked just now, Long Chen had clearly sensed his aura rapidly circulating. It wasn't like before where he would strike with just pure power. For Wild to be able to use such a technique with his intelligence, it was practically heaven defying. A group of people courting death. I suppose none of you wish to live any longer. Right at this moment, a group of people appeared and the person at the front was the senior generation's heavenly genius, Gao Xianyang. As soon as he appeared, a terrifying pressure descended on everyone, shaking their hearts. If we don't wish to live any longer, are you capable of helping us? Long Chen indifferently asked. He walked to the front of the Dragonblood Legion, coldly facing Gao Xianyang. The power distribution was already very obvious. The majority of the previous generation's disciples had all joined the law enforcement hall. Even if Long Chen acted obedient, they would still make things hard on him. It was better to counterattack. Since you want to die, I will help you, snorted Gao Xianyang. He raised his hand, but suddenly, another group of people appeared. Gao Xianyang, are you bullying the new disciples again? Is that the only ability you have? It was another group of foundation forging disciples. They were led by Sumo and Mu Kingsuan. While the one speaking was Sumo Sumo and Mu Kingsuan were part of the Elder Hall's power, they were enemies with Gao Xianyang and the others. Seeing them, Long Chen suddenly felt like this situation wasn't as simple as he had thought. He was once more being used. This was no coincidence. His suspicions were confirmed when the Elder Hall and Law Enforcement Hall's elders also appeared. Following that, Liu Kang and Luo Fan also arrived. It seemed that Long Chen's every action was within Liu Kang's expectations. He supposed he had to admire that. Long Chen, you've disturbed the order of the sect, interrupted the drills, and shown no respect for your senior apprentice brother. Do you accept your sins? What others hadn't expected was that the one making things hard for Long Chen was the Elder Hall Master. How could Long Chen not understand his intentions? He directly said, I am unconvinced by this exercise. I won't watch as an idiot drills my brothers into trash so that they'll die once they're sent to the battlefield. What nonsense. Working together with support disciples is mutually beneficial. If you cooperate well, it will multiply your combat strength and reduce your casualties. How are they being sent into the battlefield to die? Raged the Elder Hall Master. Luo Fan couldn't help being dumbfounded. Originally, he had thought he would have to have another verbal battle with the Elder Hall Master. But now the Elder Hall Master was saying everything he wanted to say. He didn't understand. Long Chen couldn't help but smile. Liu Kang had already paved a path for Long Chen with his words just now. He said, you're right, 
If they cooperate well, it will multiply our combat strength and reduce casualties. But arranging an idiot commander will only reduce our combat strength and multiply our casualties. I won't bother with the others, but every member of the Dragonblood Legion is my brother or sister. I won't allow them to be killed because of an idiot. For Long Chen to repeatedly call him an idiot infuriated the foundation forging disciple that had been drilling everyone. He was currently healing with the help of an elder, but his injuries were too heavy. He couldn't grow back half his body in such a short time. He roared, who are you calling an idiot? This formation was personally decided on by the hall master. Sorry, then I was wrong. It's not that you're an idiot, but that your hall master is an idiot. If this kind of foolish formation was created by someone with a brain, then I really have to admire that someone, said Long Chen. Luo Fan's expression sank. He was just about to speak when an icy voice rang out. Then what do you need for you to be convinced? Chapter 1082 Formation Translator Born to be Tower Department Head All the elders and disciples hastily bowed. However, the Tower Department Head didn't reveal himself. Only his voice rang out in the air. I'm already convinced. A grand formation containing over 200,000 people that doesn't care about each person's individual combat strengths or their attributes, one that doesn't differentiate offense or defense, has absolutely no use. Well, if you're fighting smart opponents, then there's a chance they might laugh themselves to death. But right now, we're drilling against infernal devil beasts. Isn't this just sending people to their deaths? Furthermore, a grand formation involving over 200,000 people would require several months of training just to grasp the basics, let alone using the formation to its advantages. Do we have that time? So I just can't comprehend how an amateur who doesn't know a thing about this possibly has the qualifications to interfere with such an important matter. Is this to intentionally harm the disciples? Disciple would like to ask the tower department head for an explanation, said Long Chen. The elder hall master smiled. If this wasn't the wrong time, he would give Long Chen's a thumbs up. He was truly smart to immediately see through the clues to figure out what was going on. In truth, Long Chen was unaware that in the Infernal Devil Abyss's battlefield, whichever department had the most contributions would become the leader of the battlefield. The Law Enforcement Hall's foundation forging disciples were led by Gao Zianiang, and due to the Law Enforcement Hall's immense wealth, they had quite a few powerful disciples. Those disciples ended up being the main force on the battlefield, and so the battlefield's tactics were arranged by them. Originally, there should have been no problem, but this year, the Infernal Devil Abyss's Devil Beasts had suddenly erupted, and there was no way for them to give the new disciples too much time to adapt, and so they were rushing along to get the disciples familiar with cooperating with each other. However, the Law Enforcement Hall had no experience in that regard. The Elder Hall had been in charge before and were the true professionals, but the Law Enforcement Hall didn't want to ask them for their advice. They directly dredged up a huge formation diagram, and this was the result. The Elder Hall Master and its elders were all anxious about that. This was completely unacceptable, and far too many disciples would be sacrificed like this. The elders had asked their Hall Master what to do, but the Elder Hall Master had merely smiled and told them not to panic. There were still a few more days left and he was waiting for something, and Long Chen quickly came out of seclusion. The elder hall master knew that his opportunity had come, and he had arranged this situation. Disturbing the tower department head was also within his expectations, because he had long since made his preparations. Long Chen didn't disappoint him. Using the quickest, most direct and effective method, Long Chen got his results, and those were even better than what the elder hall master had anticipated. In fact, he hadn't even had to do anything. Everything was done perfectly by Long Chen. Starting today, the drilling of the new disciples will be left to the Elder Hall. The Law Enforcement Hall doesn't need to participate. This isn't your speciality, said the Tower Department Head after a moment's hesitation. Tower Department Head, according to the rule, Luo Fan was panicked now. This was equivalent to giving the authority to the Elder Hall. Then the Law Enforcement Hall's influence over the new disciples would grow weaker and weaker. Rules are dead while people are alive. Do you want to sacrifice the lives of our disciples because of a rule? There's a good saying, if you have no ability, don't act like you do. Long Chen is correct. This kind of idiotic formation is something even I would be amazed by if it was made by someone with a brain. There's no room for discussion. Starting now, the drilling of the new disciples is completely left up to the elder hall. The tower department head's voice turned cold. His mood was clearly starting to drop. 
Luo Fan was ashen with rage, but he didn't say anything more. After viciously glaring at the Elder Hall Master for a moment and then icily glaring at Long Chen, he left. His unconcealable killing intent shook all the disciples' hearts. All of them could see that he had been on the verge of exploding. Following him, Gao Xianyang also left. But before leaving, he cast a profound glance at Long Chen. The drills are over for today. We'll continue tomorrow morning, announced Li Changfang. Well done, Long Chen. Once all the disciples were gone, when it was only Sumo, Mu Kingsuan, and a few others from the Elder Hall left, Sumo gave Long Chen a thumbs up. He, it was all thanks to the Elder Hall Master's arrangements, said Long Chen. The Elder Hall Master shook his head. You little fellow, are you complaining about being used as a weapon? I'm not complaining, but if such a thing happens again, can you warn me first? I'll be able to handle it even better, and I'll be more confident. Long Chen smiled. All right, let's return to the Elder Hall. We need to have a discussion. Within the Elder Hall, there were only a few core elders. The Hall Master, Long Chen, Sumo, and Mu Kingsuan. This was Long Chen's first time attending such a gathering. Sumo, this is Long Chen's first time. Explain the situation within the Infernal Devil Abyss, said the Hall Master. Sumo said, all right, currently. The situation in the Infernal Devil Abyss is very ominous. There are too many devil beasts, and although we've just forced back a wave, according to the information from the scouts, the next wave will come quickly, and it will probably have even larger numbers. With that trend in mind, the number of foundation forging disciples we have is a bit lacking. The accident last time that you encountered on the battlefield was truly because of that disciple's carelessness. But another factor was that no one could have predicted that so many ninth rank devil beasts would suddenly appear. By the time they reacted, it was too late. So this time, the new disciples won't be able to hide in the back. You'll also have to appear on the front lines. Although it hasn't reached the point that we need you to charge into them. In order to distribute our combat power, the new disciples will also be guarding a defensive region. Even though there will be foundation forging disciples in front of you slaughtering the devil beasts making the number of devil beasts that reach you much lower. Ninth rank devil beasts will still frequently come at you. This time, you'll have to be properly prepared. The support disciples have also been mobilized just to help handle this high-level battle. However, you don't need to be too worried either. If the devil beasts are truly too strong this time, the sect will have you retreat and activate the stronghold to kill them. Long Chen nodded. As expected, the senior disciples at the front had it tough and they needed the new disciples to participate as well. Long Chen, do you have any opinions? Asked Mu Kingsuan. No, no opinions. In any case, the only thing to do is to kill. Long Chen shook his head. Don't be ridiculous. I'm asking you if you have any battle tactics, said Mu Kingsuan. When it comes to battle tactics, I only have some for my Dragonblood Legion. I have nothing for the other factions. I'm confident in my people. They are definitely the ones with the greatest combat power amongst the new disciples. So I don't want you to insert a bunch of random people into my faction. At most, give me 20 or 30 healing disciples, said Long Chen. Within the infernal devil abyss, being injured was the most dangerous thing. The devil beast's attacks all possessed some kind of special dark energy that greatly diminished the effectiveness of the heavenly Dao recovery. So healing experts were vital. I was originally thinking of having you led the six factions. But it seems you have no interest in that, said Liu Kang. It's not that I have no interest, but that I don't have the ability. Fan Song and Hu Gishan hate me to the core, so I can't let them. I'm not afraid of anything except being stabbed in the back at a critical moment. Then I go crazy and kill people. My guess is that if I became their leader, they would agree on the surface and then not put in any effort. In fact, they might intentionally block us. That won't just harm others, but they will also harm the Dragonblood Legion. So I don't want to be some leader. I just want to look after my Dragonblood Legion. Rather than having some untrustworthy battle comrades, I'd prefer to fight alone, said Long Chen. Everyone nodded. He was correct. The Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild had a good relationship with Long Chen, but it would be too troublesome for him to let the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall. However, there was no one else who possessed the ability to let everyone. Currently, Men Qi, Yu Zifeng and Wild had returned, and Gu Yang, Tang wan -er, and the others had advanced to become rank 5 celestials who were capable of merging with heaven and earth. Who could possibly challenge the current Dragonblood Legion? Right now, no one dared to look down on the Dragonblood Legion. 
It was like the Dragonblood Legion had grown to hegemon status overnight. No one else could rattle them. It's true that the Dragonblood Legion needs its independence. After all, Long Chen has led them from the start, and if others randomly join, it will decrease their power, making it so they can't fight freely. I feel like the other factions are the same. Have them just led their own people, while the support disciples can merge with their ranks under their guidance. That is the quickest and most effective way to increase their power. We just need to offer them a few comparatively useful support disciples so they can properly display their strengths, said Sumo Long Chen nodded. Sumo's method was currently the most feasible method. As for that garbage formation from the law enforcement hall, there was no need to even mention it. Good, then that's what we'll do. Since Long Chen only needs healing disciples, arrange for 50 of the strongest ones to join him. After all, his people will be our main force. As for the other factions, arrange for support disciples in accordance with their needs. They're the ones clearest of their own strengths and weaknesses. For Flame Gate, Sumo, pick out a foundation forging disciple to temporarily lead them. Long Chen, you handle your side. And as for the other factions, Sumo, Mu Kingsuan, look after them a bit more, said Liu Kang. As you command, Sumo and Mu Kingsuan both bowed. The meeting was over. They hadn't really discussed anything of substance, but there was also no need for that. Right now, the Dragonblood Legion was the strongest, and the other factions were only subsidiary. As soon as Long Chen had returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain, he called over Wild and the others. He wanted to learn what they had gone through during this time. Chapter 1083 Extravagantly Spending Money Translator Born to be during these few months, Menki, Yu Zifeng, and Wild had all been secluded within the Zhuanshan catalog. Menki and Yu Zifeng had obtained powerful inheritances, and their gains were huge. As for Wild, when asked about what he had gone through, his response was a bit muddled. He said that during those days, he had always been sleeping in a mysterious space. When he woke up, he had come out. He didn't feel any change in himself, making Long Chen and the others speechless. In a bit, bring everyone for a stroll through Treasure Gem Island and buy some decent things. Wild's Bone Club isn't able to keep up with his strength. So buy a good weapon. Don't worry about money, since we don't have any major expenses coming up, said Long Chen. He, I like strolling through there the most. In the past, there wasn't enough money for me to do so, but now I can randomly go there as I please, said Tang Wanner excitedly. She was no exception to the rule that women liked shopping. Tang Wanner led the three of them away, and very quickly, Long Chen received word that 50 healing disciples had already arrived. Long Chen looked over them. The majority of them were women, with only five male disciples. They were all wood attribute cultivators. Greetings, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Those healing disciples all bowed upon seeing Long Chen, their eyes full of worship and reverence. Long Chen could be claimed to have dominated all the heavenly geniuses in the Zhuanshan Dao sect's new generation. No one could contend against him equally. Furthermore, he never put on airs like other experts and was easy to get to know. He also treated his subordinates warmly and was willing to risk his life for his brothers. His tyrannical and merciless side existed to protect his brothers. Countless people dreamed of joining the Dragonblood Legion, and these 50 people were no exception. They were the strongest healers amongst the new generation of disciples, as expected of elites Li Changfeng had meticulously picked out for him. Now standing in front of Long Chen, they felt both nervous and excited. They were now also joining the Dragonblood Legion. That was a kind of honor. I won't say too many superfluous words. Since we'll be brothers and sisters fighting side by side, we are one family. Each one of you can have an initial 50,000 points to buy things you need for the battle. Do your best to buy things that can increase your healing powers. If that's not enough points, you can come and find me. Startled cries rang out from amongst the healing disciples. 50,000 points was an amount they had never dared to dream of. Those disciples delightedly took the points and rushed straight to Treasure Gem Island. Long Chen knew that these kinds of support professions burned the most money. Their equipment and items were normally much more expensive than those used by fighters. He didn't know much about their requirements. So rather than doing something stupid like directing them with his amateur skills, he let them buy what they needed themselves. He spent such a huge sum on them not just to win over their hearts, but because the Dragonblood Legion was truly lacking healers. A group of elite healers would be an even greater safeguard for the Dragonblood Legion's warriors' lives. Other than that, the majority of those healing disciples were women. While the Dragonblood Legion was filled with mainly men, there truly had been a need for some equalization. 
This way, they wouldn't spend all day spouting uncultured speech. It was good for their growth. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking of having Guo Ran spend the next few days drilling their formations. That way the healing disciples would get familiar with them. But Guo Ran was already in seclusion, doing his best to forge more killing tools. He could only leave this matter to Gu Yang. In truth, the mission of the healing disciples was very simple. They didn't need to fight. They just need to be spread out amongst them, each one of them in charge of an area. If anyone in that area was injured, they could heal them at the greatest speed. Those healing disciples bought quite a few pieces of top-grade equipment thanks to Long Chen. For example, there were some wood spirit beads that allowed them to quickly recover their wood spiritual energy. There were staves that allowed them to unleash long-range healing magical arts. There were also spirit talismans that could be used for area healing as long as they poured in their spiritual energy. To sum it up, these disciples had essentially bought everything useful. Not only that, they had only bought the best. The other healing disciples were incredibly envious. When they joined the battle factions, they had been given 20,000 points to buy things, and they had felt that to be enough. But compared to the 50,000 points given by the Dragonblood Legion, they felt poor. Drilling their formations was very simple. If those healing disciples were unable to remember their positions, Gu Yang would simply pick out a Dragonblood warrior to lead them. They could just follow that person. For so many beautiful healing experts to join invigorated the Dragonblood Legion, they enthusiastically swore that they would definitely protect them, causing the women to be extremely moved, while also making Long Chen speechless. But when he thought about it, he supposed it made sense. Satisfied men didn't know the pain of hungry men. Only when men and women were matched up could they couple strength and gentleness. Seeing those wood cultivators made him think of Chu Yao, that gentle girl. He had no idea how she was right now. Would she have forgotten him? Regretfully, he had no more 10,000 spirit blood. Back then, he hadn't had any intentions of expanding the Dragonblood Legion, and so he had given it all to use Iokian. Without any 10,000 spirit blood, he could only refine a pill called the Jade Flower Spirit Ascension Pill. Although it was only half as effective as the 10,000 spirit blood, it was also a difficult to obtain pill. At the very least, it would bring about an obvious attribute upgrade in them. But for people with average elemental affinities, there was nothing it could do. After all, it wasn't 10,000 spirit blood. This kind of medicinal pill was most helpful to the wood cultivators. It could purify their wood spiritual energy. Although the Zhuanshan Dao sect also had similar pills. Their effect was not as good as the Jade Flower Spirit Ascension Pill. He distributed the Jade Flower Spirit Ascension Pills to the Dragon Mark Warriors and Healing Disciples, having them refine its medicinal energy as quickly as possible. When Tang Wanner and the others returned, they had brilliant smiles. That was especially true of Wild. Holding a spiked club, he had a permanent foolish smile pasted to his face. When Long Chen asked, he learned that this spiked club was a king item priced at 50 million points. Although that price was frighteningly high, it was worth it. Its name was Blood Addict. Its weight alone was enough to crush a mass of sea expansion experts. Even foundation forging disciples would be unable to hold it. But its weight was perfect for wild. The spikes on the club were wolf fangs. A total of 308 Blood Addict Ghost Wolves teeth were embedded into it. They shone with cold light. Blood Addict Ghost Wolves were 9th rank magical beasts. Their teeth contained their core runes. Once activated their power was practically unstoppable. As soon as Wild had seen it, he had instantly cried out that he wanted that. He refused to look at anything else. Damn, this is one fierce weapon. Long Chen tried holding it, and he was astonished by its weight. Even with his current power, he was only barely able to hold it. As for actually using it, he would probably have to activate the Green Dragon Battle Armor first. But Wild held the huge club like it was exceptionally light. That showed that Wild's physical power had far surpassed Long Chen's. He had clearly greatly benefited from his nap in the Zhuanshan catalog. Just taking a nap was able to raise his power so much. People really had different fates. Even Long Chen was a bit jealous. He had been killed so many times in the Zhuanshan catalog. It was truly a case of a fool possessing a fool's luck. I bought an ancient sword. And it's also a king item. Although it looks ordinary on the outside. This sword gives me a very intimate feeling said Yu Zifeng. He had a simple sword on his back. It was completely unremarkable. No one would be able to tell it was a king item. Even kings were not able to see past its simple outer appearance. Even if they could tell it was a king item, they would feel it to be the most ordinary of all king items. In fact, 
Some people thought that this sword had been made by a disciple. Its quality might have reached the king item level, but its spirituality was too low, making it essentially a defective good. King items all had powerful item spirits. Some would even clearly express their repulsion or affection for different masters. But this sword was completely indifferent, and no one's spiritual fluctuations were able to affect it. That was why this sword was only priced at 10 million points. And so it had been bought by Yu Zifeng. Long Chen nodded. Sword cultivators had the most shocking spiritual perception. They were the only profession that assassins didn't dare to target. If Yu Zifeng felt like he had some destiny with this sword, then there had to be some reason behind it. Men Qi, what did you buy? Long Chen turned to Men Qi. Fool, do you not see that sister Men Qi has become even more beautiful? Demanded Tang Wan Er, looking like she would give him a beating. Long Chen was startled, and suddenly he saw that Men Qi was completely red. Only then did he realize that her hair was bound in a special knot that made her appear even more poised and elegant. There were two phoenix hairpins in her hair knot, one on the left and one on the right. They were absolutely dazzling, and when he looked closely, Long Chen was shocked to see countless runes that were barely visible to the naked eye on its exterior. They almost looked alive. Men Qi, you're really beautiful. Long Chen learned his lesson. Rather than saying the hairpins were beautiful, he directly praised Men Qi. At the same time, he scolded himself for being blind. Just what had he been so preoccupied with that he hadn't even noticed this? No wonder Tang Wan Er would scold him. HMPH, I suppose you know how to talk. The Phoenix Hairpin's sister Men Qi is wearing are called Fantasy Spirits. They're extremely powerful soul items. He, I was the one who picked them up, said Tang Wan Er proudly. In truth, I didn't want them. They're too expensive, said Men Qi with embarrassment. Where did that come from? I trust Wan Er's vision. These are definitely very powerful Phoenix Hairpins, and their value surpasses their price. Furthermore, they're very suited to your grand heir, praised Long Chen. In one go. Long Chen had praised both of them. When he asked about Tang Wan Er, he realized she hadn't bought anything. She said she hadn't found anything she wanted, but he could tell she was lying. She had been managing their household this entire time, and so she was worried about running into an emergency and running out of points. Tomorrow, I'll go for a stroll with you. I've only gone to Treasure Gem Island for fights, so it'll be nice to take a stroll instead, laughed Long Chen, causing Tang Wan Er to smile gratefully. Chapter 1084 Talisman Cultivator Translator Born to be the next day, Long Chen brought Tang Wan Er to Treasure Gem Island. She directly went to a certain shop and pointed at a necklace on the wall with an embarrassed expression. Long Chen looked at it and immediately understood. This necklace was called Blessing of the Wind Fairy. It had a heart-shaped pendant that was half-transparent, and energy was fluctuating within it like water. In truth, that wasn't water, but wind energy. This pendant was created from a heavenly wind crystal, a treasure every wind attribute cultivator longed for. By wearing it, she would be able to comprehend the profundities of wind more easily while cultivating. When using magical arts, she would be able to link up to heaven and earth's wind energy, allowing her to cast them more quickly and with more power. Without a second word, Long Chen directly handed over his crystal card. He knew why Tang Wan Er didn't buy it. It cost 80 million points. After buying it, the Dragonblood Legion's points would drop precipitously Noveloon.com but Long Chen didn't mind. Spending however much money was fine if it was for Tang Wan Er. On the contrary, he felt that he was the one who owed her far too much. He doubted he could repay it in his lifetime. He personally put the necklace on Tang Wan Er, making her indescribably moved. Even her eyes became moist. Not daring to look at Long Chen, she turned away to wipe away her tears. That made Long Chen even more ashamed. In truth. Tang Wan Er had very low requirements for him. She was a very easily satisfied woman. Long Chen brought Tang Wan Er for a stroll. After a while, he learned that there were very few pieces of equipment for wind attribute cultivators, and there were essentially no weapons to be found. That was because for wind attribute experts, their strongest weapon was the wind that existed around them. Currently, Tang Wan Er had yet to reach foundation forging and she didn't have the qualifications to enter the Zuanshan catalog to cultivate. Each person only had one chance to enter the Zuanshan catalog. Once they left, they would never be able to enter again. In fact, even a monster like Long Chen wasn't an exception. He had found his inheritance in the Zuanshan catalog, and after that, his fate with the Zuanshan catalog had ended. He would also never be able to enter again. In order to allow the disciples to make the greatest gains in the Zuanshan catalog, 
they were only allowed to enter after reaching foundation forging. However, there were exceptions for people like Menki, Yu Zifeng, and Wild who possessed special attributes. For others, entering too early might be wasting their best opportunity. Long Chen brought Tang Wanner around Treasure Gem Island for a day, and he bought quite a few trifles just to make Tang Wanner happy. Tang Wanner also bought a few small gifts for Menki. Time passed by. Just as everyone was energetically drilling their formations, the bell to gather finally sounded on the seventh day. All the inner sect disciples once more gathered in the plaza. As soon as they were present, they were sent directly to the infernal devil abyss. This time, they appeared on a huge wall that stretched far into the distance. In front of the wall was a boundless black wasteland. The ground was ink black and emitted a corrosive aura. In fact, the smell of death came from it. The Dragon Blood Legion, Heaven Female Alliance, and 10,000 Insect Guild are in charge of defending this place. They had only just arrived on top of the wall when a figure descended from the sky. That person was precisely the previous generation's top heavenly genius, Gao Zianiang. The army on this battlefield was being led by the law enforcement hall's disciples, so they had the authority over who defended where. Seeing that it was Gao Zianiang, Long Chen sneered, but he didn't say anything. Gao Zianiang continued, There are a total of three passes in this wall. Of course, those passes have been closed. What you need to do is to not allow a huge number of ninth-ranked devil beasts to attack the wall. Although the wall is protected by divine runes, it can't handle too many attacks from the ninth-ranked devil beasts. As for devil beasts weaker than that, they won't be able to cause any substantial harm to the wall. However, once there are too many eighth-ranked devil beasts gathered, they'll pile up like a mountain. Once that mountain reaches the height of the wall, they'll be able to get past. Your mission is to not allow a single devil beast get by. Right now, the place you were guarding last time is defended by a group of outer sect disciples. If too many devil beasts get by, I'm sure you can imagine the consequences. The wall is 300 meters high, and these devil beasts cannot fly. As long as you don't allow them to pile up, blocking them should be simple enough. That's all I have to say. The rest is up to you. Long Chen, don't disappoint me. Everyone else, come with me. You will be guarding another region. Gao Zianiang smiled profoundly at Long Chen, waving his hand. He led the Flame Gate, Divine Beast Mansion, and Hegemon Hall's disciples away. Now, the only ones here were the three factions of the Dragonblood Legion, Heaven Female Alliance, and 10,000 Insect Guild. Gao Zianiang definitely gave us the most difficult spot to defend. He must have given them the safer regions, said Wang Zhen. Thinking of Long Chen's past interactions with Gao Zianiang. A bad feeling arose in many people's hearts. If you were my subordinate, I'd kick you, said Long Chen. If it weren't for our past relations, I'd suspect you were a spy sent by Gao Zianiang to rattle people. Sorry, that wasn't my intention, apologized Wang Zhen. It doesn't matter. In front of absolute power, all schemes are nonsense. Just jokes, laughed Long Chen. Turning to everyone, he said, riches and opportunity are found in danger. If we just wanted to be safe. Why would we even come out? We just stay home eating and drinking. Right now, I'm looking forward to this dangerous region Gao Zianiang set up for us. On the contrary, I was worried he would give us a safe place where we wouldn't even be able to see a devil beast. Only when there are many devil beasts can we make the most points. Furthermore, this is the best opportunity for us. The Foundation Forging Disciples only get 10,000 points for killing a ninth rank devil beast. As our strength grows, the points for killing ninth rank devil beasts drop. So right now, this is the last chance where we can still get a million points for killing a ninth rank devil beast. This kind of opportunity is too rare. Let me warn you. Keep your eyes open when the devil beasts come. Don't blame the Dragonblood Legion for being too vicious and taking all the points. Putting it this way, everyone's tense hearts loosened. Yes, this was precisely an opportunity to become rich. Right now, they were all at the peak of sea expansion. Once they advanced to foundation forging, the points gained from killing any devil beasts would drop. It was just like what Long Chen had just said. They should be praying for more devil beasts. The Dao sect's rewards were very fair. The number of points given was based on the disciples' combat strength and the danger involved. When you were weaker, it was more dangerous to kill devil beasts, and so the rewards were naturally higher. Once you were stronger, killing devil beasts became easier and the rewarded points dropped. Last time. Just one ninth rank devil beast had been worth 10 million points. 
These disciples had instantly experienced what it meant to go from a beggar to money bags. That refreshing feeling was something they wouldn't be able to forget. Now that Long Chen said that this might be their last chance to make such wealth, quite a few of them turned red-eyed. They wished for the devil beasts to cover all of heaven and earth. Some people really did worry there would be too few devil beasts and that they might start fighting over them. The dragon blood legion was too intimidating now. Seeing Long Chen wipe away the unease caused by Wang Shen's careless words made both Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen completely convinced. Long Chen was a natural leader. Each word he said, each action he made, was full of the charisma of a leader. Furthermore, each sentence, each word, was full of his absolute confidence, making it so nobody doubted the veracity of his words. All right, don't overthink things. Gao Xian Yang won't be so nice as to let us laze about here. Normally, each time the devil beasts erupt, they will start with the weakest ones. The dragon blood legion doesn't need more tempering. If there are any formations that you feel like your factions are uncomfortable with, you can use that chance to train. Oh, they arrived this quickly. Long Chen was in the midst of talking when he started to hear mixed roars coming from not far. Although there was still nothing on the horizon, they could hear them. Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen had their people jump off the wall. They advanced to a suitable distance before arranging their formations. Unlike the Dragon Blood Legion, thousands of new disciples had joined their factions. Although their drilling went decently, the support disciples hadn't entered the battlefield before. No one knew whether or not there would be mistakes from their nervousness. As the rowers approached, countless black spots appeared on the horizon. They were like a tide pouring over them. Nevertheless, the fact that they were essentially all 7th rank devil beasts allowed the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild's disciples to sigh with relief. Once those devil beasts were closer, hundreds of people from the two factions flew into the air. They threw out golden rays of light that flew amongst the devil beasts. Explosions shook the sky as those devil beasts were blown apart. Talisman cultivators. Long Chen smiled slightly. Those disciples were throwing out talismans. When they exploded, their power was not bad. Talismans required special paper, ink, and writing utensils. With just a thought from the talisman cultivators, their talismans could be detonated. Right now, they were just practicing. These talismans were just ordinary ones. They hadn't taken out their powerful ones. These talismans cultivators are very dashing, said Guo Ran enviously. Although his spiritual strength was all right, it was lacking some spirituality and stability. There was no way for him to write runes onto thin paper. He could carve them onto solid armor, but it was fated for him to be unable to become a talisman cultivator. After the attacks of the talisman cultivators, the rest of the faction also made their battle preparations. All the disciples took out their weapons. Just at this moment, two women from the two factions soared into the air, ancient zithers in their hands. Waves of music rang out, startling Long Chen. Chapter 1085 Guo Ran once more poses translator, born to be when the zithers were plucked gently. They released a sound that was like the beating of war drums. As they continued playing, their sound waves spread, and those slightly uneasy and nervous disciples gradually calmed down. The zither music had the effect of calming their hearts. Looking at those two, for some unknown reason, Long Chen thought of another woman. She was of unmatched grace and elegance. When her hand touched her zither, the music would touch the depths of people's souls. Zi Yan, a name which had been almost forgotten by Long Chen. Hearing this zither music, she once more appeared in his mind. Long Chen lost focus. The zither music had gone through some soft variations and was growing louder, with greater tempo. The music now contained a battle intent that made people's blood boil. The Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild's disciples quickly entered their peak battle states. Long Chen nodded. The music Dao was also powerful. Used on the battlefield, it was the best at controlling the rhythm. Depending on the strength of the player, their zither music would be able to directly give people directions. That was even more effective than shouting orders. Boss, our faction is truly lacking a powerful music master, said Guo Ran enviously. Perhaps we'll have one as well. Have you forgotten about the soul calming song? That beautiful woman is a fairy-like existence. Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen, laughing. It was unknown whether or not it was because of accompanying Long Chen for so long and having him shop for her had won her over but she actually said such a thing. It almost sounded like encouragement. Ah, that's right. Guo Ran slapped his leg. That soul-calming song had been one of the foundational aspects that had allowed the Dragon Blood Legion to soar. Even Chu Wuhan had benefited from it. Although Zi Yan was veiled in the photographic jade, 
Just from the parts of her face that were exposed, they could tell she was a beauty that could cause the downfall of a state. Furthermore, when she played the zither, she possessed a moving immortal charm. She was like a fairy who didn't eat mortal food. Even though the effect of the music was greatly reduced because it was recorded by a photographic jade, they had benefited immensely. That's right, my ass. I don't even know her. So how am I supposed to pull her in? Demanded Long Chen. Long Chen cursed him inside. Did he think he was a god? Capable of pulling in anyone? If he was, he'd have long since swept through this world. Guo Ran was disappointed. Continuing to watch the battle below, they saw that under the guidance of the Zither players, their tempo and control only grew better and more natural. They all understood that the Zither players were the crux of this entire formation. Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen both sent down many orders through the Zither music, including when to change formations or switch from offense to defense. Although more and more devil beasts appeared, the two factions still had it very easy. The hordes of devil beasts were slaughtered, making the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors hands itchy. Boss, let's also go out, whispered Guo Ran eagerly. You want to be a poser again? Long Chen rolled his eyes. Yes, Guo Ran nodded sincerely. Your skin is growing even thicker. You don't even get embarrassed anymore? They're using this opportunity to drill their troops. So would you not feel ashamed to interfere? Long Chen was speechless. Fine, then I'll endure a bit longer. Guo Ran was a bit embarrassed. But looking at the fiery battle below, he had an urge to descend from the sky and shock everyone. The perfect act of an unrevealed hero arriving on the scene. Advance the formations a hundred miles, shouted Long Chen suddenly. He saw that the distant devil beasts were getting stronger and more numerous. There were more 8th rank devil beasts, and a few isolated 9th rank devil beasts were appearing. It had only been less than an hour, but 9th rank devil beasts had already appeared. That was not a good omen. Perhaps the numbers of the devil beast army would be even greater than Long Chen had expected. If they killed too many devil beasts near the wall, their corpses would begin piling up. That would cause problems when the time came. The two factions slowly pushed forward. As the devil beasts grew stronger, the factions displayed greater power. Wang Shen had summoned a huge pincer insect that was completely black but shiny like it was made of metal. It had a long curved tail, seeming to be a variation of a scorpion. This scorpion was huge, looking around like it was approximately a mile long. Its aura was extremely terrifying, and its venomous stinger was so toxic that even ninth rank devil beasts would be killed on contact. This was what Wang Shen was using to handle the ninth rank devil beasts. On the other side, Hua Shiyu and Xiao Ziyan were standing at the front of their army, meeting any ninth rank devil beasts that came. After that huge battle last time, they had all obtained an ocean's worth of points. The disciples had all advanced a great deal in terms of both cultivation base and equipment. Xiao Ziyan was holding a sword, and when she attacked, sword key would flow out like water. She was actually capable of compressing her water energy to a level that it easily cut through the void, and even ninth rank devil beasts were unable to bear it. There was a huge ape-like devil beast. Its large arm was cut off with a single slash of her sword, and just as he let out a heaven-shaking roar, before it could reveal any of its power, Xiao Ziyan's second slash reached its neck. Black blood spurted into the air along with its head. She had killed it easily. Nice. The Dragon Blood Legion's members cheered from the wall. They all agreed that this attack had been exceptionally beautiful. Long Chen, now we're strong enough. Why not draw Hua Shiyu, Xiao Ziyan, and Wang Shen into the Dragon Blood Legion? Whispered Tang Wanur. If I drew them all in, I bet the Zuan Master would kill me. Long Chen shook his head with a bitter smile. Why? Asked Tang Wanur. Because when we leave, We'd end up taking away all the Zuanshan Dao sects elites of this generation. It would be odd if he didn't kill me, laughed Long Chen. Why would we leave? Foolish girl. This world is huge. There's nowhere that can completely protect us. I wish we could stay in the Zuanshan Dao sect forever. But my prediction is that I'll provoke a huge calamity one day. And if we don't leave, we'll implicate the sect and if both of them join us and we leave, we'll have taken away this generation of people. Do you think the Zuan master will allow that? said Long Chen. Long Chen sighed inside. He felt himself to be an unlucky star. If he stayed in the Dao sect for too long, he would implicate it somehow. Brothers, that's about enough. Prepare to get to work, called out Long Chen. Up ahead, a mass of large figures had appeared. There were dozens of ninth rank devil beasts approaching. Right now, they were still slowly advancing because there were just too many 7th and 8th rank devil beasts. It was like wading through knee-deep water. Quite a few of those weaker devil beasts were trampled by them. 
Hua Xiaoyu and Wang Shen's expressions changed. Although they weren't afraid of ninth-rank devil beasts, there were too many of them. Once they arrived, there was no way for the disciples to kill them all at once. Quite a few would get by, and they were worried that their people wouldn't be able to handle them. Just as Hua Xiaoyu and Wang Shen were about to ask for reinforcement, a huge object fell from the sky. It was a 300-meter square platform, and it landed with such power that it smashed the devil beasts around it to smithereens. This square platform had been created with special steel. There was a figure loftily standing on it. His arms spread and raised at a 45-degree angle toward the sky. His chest was out. His head was high. And it was incredibly flashy. I swept through the four seas. Crossed a thousand mountains. Caused huge billows in heaven and earth. Slaughtered demons. Eliminated devils. Plucked the stars and moon. Tis I. The unrevealed hero Guo Ran. Shantae D. Guo Ran in an incredibly showy manner. Guo Ran looked back to see the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild's disciples looking at him with shock. They were clearly stunned by his display. But then when he looked at the wall, he saw that only the Dragon Mark Warriors and newly joined healing disciples were looking at him. Long Chen, Tang Wan'er, and essentially all the Dragon Blood Warriors, had turned away, acting like they didn't know him. Gu Yang, I can't handle it. He's absolutely shameless. He even called himself an unrevealed hero? Does anyone else just give themselves that title? Yu Zifeng, I have goosebumps. I was not prepared for this sudden poser act. Li Qi, Guo Ran's posing act is familiar, both the way he does it and how it feels. But its power only grows stronger. Song Mingyuan, but his self-restraint got worse. That final sentence of his, his voice was clearly shuddering. He's definitely nervous. After a moment of silence, the same words came from different mouths. He probably held back from posing for too long. Hey, hey, you call me brother, but you don't support me at all? What do you think you're doing? Raged Guo Ran. There's no need for so many words. Go ahead and continue. We will support you in our minds. Long Chen turned to face him and forced a smile. As brothers, even if they didn't cheer on his posing, they couldn't undermine him. If they did, Guo Ran would go crazy. Only once he saw Long Chen and the others turning back to face him did Guo Ran's expression improve. With another bang. A huge crossbow appeared in front of him. This crossbow was so heavy that it caused the platform to shake. It was the same crossbow as last time. Even after advancing to become a rank 5 celestial, Guo Ran was still unable to carry such a heavy crossbow. So he had created this huge platform just for it. Guo Ran aimed it at the distant 9th rank devil beasts. Once he was focused like this, he truly did have a bit of the air of an expert. A light sound rang out. A blur flew out. And then... One of the ninth rank devil beasts hundreds of miles away exploded. That made Long Chen and the others' expressions change slightly. It seemed Guo Ran truly did have the power to be a poser. Then, shockingly, Guo Ran continued shooting out unknown objects at the ninth rank devil beasts. They were killed one by one, exploding into black blood flowers. Damn, how fierce even Long Chen couldn't help but let out an exclamation. This was being a poser through power. Chapter 1086 Catching Everyone's Eye Translator Born to be let alone the others Even Long Chen was shocked Just when had this brat become so powerful? And he hadn't even bragged about it? No wonder he had been so furious before So he had been posing with real power This shocked everyone Each time Guo Ran attacked They were only able to see him to activate some mechanisms They were unable to even see the projectile before the distant 9th rank devil beasts were blown apart Continuous explosions rang out, like a person doing roll call. He killed over 30 of them in one go, dumbfounding the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild's disciples. This is my most successful posing in all of history. So, I'll be a bit modest and only give myself full marks. Guo Ran had stealthily cast his divine sense behind him and seen all those dumbstruck people. He stood with his hands clasped behind his back, just like a lonely expert. But in truth, Flowers were about to bloom in his heart. Should we attack? Asked Gu Yang. Ugh. Let's wait a bit so he can finish posing. Furthermore, the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild aren't quite at their peak yet. Right now, with Guo Ran at the front, their safety is of no issue. So give them some more time for training. Said Long Chen. Inside, he praised Guo Ran. He was truly a generation's marvel. His cultivation talent was so lacking that even after Long Chen did his best to develop him. His actual combat power was garbage, but by blazing an alternate route, he had found his own Dao. Behind this glorious posing, 
it was unknown how much blood and sweat he had paid. To sum it up, it could be said that he was getting more dependable. Yes, he could count as opposing hero. Boss, that's about enough. You guys should come as well. I feel bad being the only one in the spotlight. After an incense stick's worth of time, Guo Ran had killed over a hundred ninth rank devil beasts. Long Chen and the others exchanged disdainful expressions. They understood him far too well. He was definitely running out of ammunition, or with his character, he would continue posing until the end of time. Let's go. Long Chen didn't expose him. He led the Dragon Blood Legion forward. Those wood cultivators that had just joined were truly a bit apprehensive, as they had never gone through any battles. Seeing that the other two factions were able to work together so flawlessly, they became even more nervous, afraid of making mistakes. But they saw that the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors were still laughing and talking as they walked forward. It was like they weren't even going to the battlefield. They looked as easygoing as if they were going to a bonfire party. This was precisely the effect Long Chen had wanted. Only when a person could fearlessly advance could they display their greatest strength. Only then could they create the slightest hope of living when surrounded by death. The Dragon Mark warriors had finished their apprenticeships. As for Long Chen, he was at the very front, with Men Qi and Tang Wan'er on his arms. The three of them walked forward shoulder to shoulder. When the Dragon Blood Legion reached the attack range of the Devil Beasts, people were stunned to find that when the Devil Beasts charged at Long Chen, they would suddenly stiffen and collapse on the ground 10 miles away from him. They would never get back up. With Long Chen at the center, there was a 10 mile space. Whether they were 7th or 8th rank devil beasts, they would all die once they entered. That was a stunning and bizarre scene. It was like the devil beasts were kneeling in front of Long Chen, while Long Chen was the king of devils. Sister Men Qi, you're amazing, praised Tang Wan'er worshipfully. This was Men Qi's spiritual domain. Within this domain, with just a thought, she could wipe out the souls of any devil beasts. That was the most terrifying aspect of soul cultivators. Amongst the new generation of disciples, there were also other soul cultivators, but they had all been snatched away by the senior generation disciples. They didn't need those soul cultivators to kill devil beasts on the battlefield. They just needed them to disturb a few ninth rank devil beasts in battle, while they used that chance to kill them. Menki shook her head. These devil beasts basically have no minds. Their spiritual fluctuations are very strange, and I need to use a large amount of spiritual strength in order to kill them. If they were ordinary magical beasts, my spiritual domain would cover hundreds of miles. Hundreds of miles? Just what kind of terrifying scene would that be? Long Chen asked. Then are you using too much soul energy right now? I'm using a bit, but it's not that bad. He, that fellow Guo Ran was so flashy. So is his boss. You have to be even flashier. Men Qi smiled sweetly at Long Chen, her eyes containing a teasing light, as well as an alluring one. The three of them were laughing and talking as they reached the center of the battlefield. The Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild had already opened up a large space for them. The scene of Long Chen's arrival on the battlefield was too shocking. He, boss really is the boss. This is ten times flashier than mine. Guo Ran had already jumped off his platform and gone over to Long Chen's side. Long Chen cast a glance at Hua Shiyu and Wang Zhen, and they immediately understood. They brought their factions toward the edges leaving the central area to the Dragon Blood Legion. With the Dragon Blood Legion at the center, the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild were the two wings. When it came to numbers, the 10,000 Insect Guild was clearly lacking, and yet when Wang Zhen summoned his army of millions and millions of insects, it was enough to make up for the difference. Wang Zhen was extremely powerful when put like this. No one knew just how many insects existed in his army, just on his own. He was able to make up for the difference between in numbers. Long Chen was at the front, with the Dragon Blood Legion being the core. They were enduring the majority of the Devil Beasts' attacks. After all, the Devil Beasts had no intelligence, and they simply attacked whoever was closer. Everyone, get into formation. Men Qi, help tidy up these Devil Beasts, said Long Chen. Men Qi nodded and slowly floated into the air. Her robes billowed around her, while her hair was tightly bound in a high knot. She was like an immortal who had descended from the heavens, giving people an urge to kneel down in worship. Her aura infected the entire world, causing the infernal devil abyss to become a wonderland. She formed hand seals, and when she was finished with the third one, two strange runes appeared in her eyes. A terrifying spiritual fluctuation suddenly spread. All devil beasts within thousands of miles collapsed tidily on the ground, leaving behind a few isolated figures. 
Those figures were ninth-ranked devil beasts. Right now, they were holding their heads and wailing in pain. Then, they once more charged forward. Menki's attack had eradicated all the weaker devil beasts, causing people's hearts to shake. This attack was absolutely terrifying. Don't just stand there. Hurry and get into formation. Are you daydreaming? Long Chen clapped his hands, rousing the dumbfounded Dragon Mark warriors. They hadn't encountered Menki before, so they were completely stunned by her power. They hastily formed their formation. In just half a breath, the formation was completed. It was so fast that Long Chen couldn't find a fault in it. There were 17 figures still moving on the battlefield. Ten of them came for the Dragonblood Legion. Guo Ran was about to stop them when he was stopped by Long Chen. He allowed the ninth-ranked Devil Beasts to reach the Dragonblood Legion just like that. What is he doing? Hua Shiyu and Wang's hen's expressions changed. Was he trying to get his disciples killed? Die. Seeing the ninth-ranked Devil Beasts charging toward them, the Dragonblood Warriors directly hacked with their sabers. The first ninth-ranked Devil Beast to reach them had a Dragonblood Warrior slash at its arm. As a result, with a loud bang, that Dragonblood Warrior was sent flying. In terms of power, he was still too weak compared to a ninth-ranked Devil Beast. But his full-strength attack caused that rushing ninth-ranked Devil Beast to pause. And just as it stabilized itself, two other Dragonblood Warriors slashed their weapons onto its knees. The attack the Devil Beast was about to unleash was interrupted and the immense impact to its legs caused it to lose its equilibrium. It fell backward, and just at that moment, a dragonblood warrior who had long since been waiting unleashed the attack he had been preparing. A huge head soared into the air along with a rain of black blood. That blood splashed the dragonblood warrior, but he didn't care at all. Instead, he became even more excited, and he let out a heaven-shaking roar. The 10,000 Insect Guild and Heaven Female Alliance's disciples were deeply shaken upon seeing a terrifying ninth-ranked Devil Beast be killed so easily by just the four of them working together. Nice. Long Chen gave them a thumbs up. They didn't let down the name of the Dragonblood Warriors. Their cooperation had been practically seamless. At this moment, the other ninth-ranked Devil Beasts successively arrived. The ones to kill them were all the ordinary Dragonblood Warriors. They had followed Long Chen the longest so they had the greatest experience and the best cooperation. Long Chen intentionally left the ninth rank Devil Beasts to them to show everyone that ninth rank Devil Beasts were only at this level. It was also to show the Dragon Mark Warriors what cooperation could bring about. Do you see? This is the power of a team. One person's strength might not be enough, but by working together you can still cut them down like melons. You all trust each other, but you're lacking the ability to tacitly understand each other. There's no way to teach you that. So you can only try to figure it out on your own on the battlefield. Once you understand, then no matter how many ninth rank devil beasts arrive, they will only be more points. Brothers, I won't say too many nonsense words. Work hard on cutting them down. Consider yourselves blades that haven't been sharpened. Do your best to temper your sharpness right now. Using the corpses of devil beasts as proof of your glory. Shouted Long Chen. Just at this moment, another horde of devil beasts charged over. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors let out loud roars and began a crazy slaughter. Long Chen's words had instantly ignited their hot blood. It was even more effective than the previous zither music. Gu Yang, you go help Wang's hen's side. Ninth rank devil beasts are causing large casualties in his insect army, and if it goes too long, he'll take too many losses. In any case, the Dragonblood Legion was essentially just training. They were tempering their guts and coordination. The only thing to do was to make sure not too many ninth rank devil beasts came at once. And since Gu Yang was a close range fighter, he would just be standing there bored. It was better for him to go help, and conveniently, he could make a few points. Guo Ran jumped onto his platform again. His crossbow overlooked the entire battlefield. If anyone needed help, he would kill a ninth rank devil beast with a single arrow. Chapter 1087 Sword Key Pierces the Firmament Translator Born to be Long Chen stood in the air, looking into the distance while extending his divine sense slowly. In a place his eyesight was unable to reach, he saw a huge black hole. It was tens of thousands of miles wide. Around it, the sky had spiderweb cracks extending out, like a frozen lake that had been smashed with a stone. Spatial cracks continuously formed around it, radiating outward. There were also orderly divine runes constantly working to repair those cracks. But the hole possessed some kind of mysterious energy that was resisting, and the void was constantly being ripped apart and healed, and then ripped apart and healed. There were two energies fighting, both of which transcended human comprehension.
Countless devil beasts were wildly charging out of the huge hole. Long Chen noticed that the weaker devil beasts found it easier to pass through. On the other hand, the stronger devil beasts looked like they were being trapped. Ninth rank devil beasts looked as if they were being suppressed by some kind of energy from the world when they passed through the channel. During the process of crossing over, their bodies would emit white smoke, and they let out pained howls. So that's what it was. These devil beasts are creatures from outside this world. When they come to the martial heaven continent, they are suppressed by the world's laws. Their power is greatly reduced. No wonder I felt like they weren't as strong as the ninth rank sea demons I fought in the martial heaven sea ring. Long Chen came to a sudden realization. This had been a source of confusement for him. If they were called ninth rank devil beasts, they should have been on the same level as ninth rank magical beasts and sea demons. Long Chen shook his head and retracted his divine sense. Doing such a distant probing made him feel a wave of exhaustion in his soul. That channel was hundreds of thousands of miles from here. That was the absolute limit of his divine sense. And just maintaining it for a few breaths exhausted a significant amount of his soul energy. The Zuan master said that the devil beasts come from hell, but not the hell that people know. Instead, this hell is the crevice between the netherworld and the martial heaven continent. Ugh, the higher my cultivation base, the less I understand the world. I just feel more and more minuscule, sighed Long Chen. He took a deep breath and continued examining the depths of the battlefield. A cold smile quickly appeared on his face. Up ahead, somewhere they couldn't see, there were huge earthen walls that slanted toward them. The devil beasts charging through the spatial channel would naturally detour along the earthen walls once they encountered them. The earthen walls led them over in this direction, and looking on the other side, he saw another defensive wall. Seeing Hu Gishan and the others on it, Long Chen was infuriated. He directly took out a photographic jade and recorded everything he saw. Gao Xianyang was too despicable. Not only had he arranged for Long Chen to defend a place with more devil beasts, but he was also guiding the majority of the devil beasts that should have been going to Hu Gishan's side toward him. Fortunately, Long Chen was able to activate photographic jades inside the primal chaos space. That meant that it recorded whatever he saw. Otherwise, he would only be able to accept this. That was because otherwise, once the battle was over, they would erase all the evidence. If you want to play with me, I'll play you to death, swore Long Chen. As time passed, more devil beasts appeared. The Dragon Blood Legion had completely gotten used to killing 9th rank devil beasts. The devil beasts were killed one by one, multiplying their confidence and increasing their cooperation skills. Most importantly, with the healing disciples present, they weren't the slightest bit worried about being injured. They could go all out. As for the healing disciples, they quickly adapted to the battlefield. Anytime one of the Dragon Blood Legion's disciples was injured, they would wave the wooden staff in their hands. Through the wooden staff, their wood spiritual energy was able to heal others at a long distance. It was quick and effective. The dragon blood warriors, who had never experienced such treatment, were absolutely delighted. The protection of these healers was definitely a blessing. This ability was only possible due to how much money Long Chen had spent on them. Now that they were on the battlefield, it showed just how good it was to be rich and have the best equipment. The other faction's healing disciples needed to run to the front and heal people personally and the efficiency of their healing could not be compared to the Dragon Blood Legion's healers with their equipment. Currently, the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors were in groups of nine. They were able to easily kill low-rank devil beasts, and when ninth-rank devil beasts appeared, the nine of them would work together, and in just a few breaths, they would be able to kill it. As long as nothing unexpected happened, none of them would even be injured. In fact, because they knew they had the protection of the healing disciples, they began to feel even more at ease and their attacks became more precise. Their power was used completely on offense. Their killing efficiency rose just from that. The Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild also tried this. Hua Shiyu and Wang's Hen would occasionally allow a ninth rank devil beast to pass so that their disciples could try killing them. Compared to the Dragon Blood Legion, for them to kill ninth rank devil beasts was more difficult. In fact, two disciples were killed in the panic. But after trying it several times, they managed to bring the first one down. After killing one, their confidence rose. However, the people capable of killing ninth rank devil beasts were not very high in number. Later, the two factions changed their formations, with their stronger disciples in charge of the ninth rank devil beasts and the weaker disciples in charge of the seventh and eighth rank devil beasts. As for the support disciples, they were to prioritize the disciples fighting the ninth rank devil beasts. 
It was more effective that way, with the strong against the strong and the weak against the weak. Not all factions could be like the Dragonblood Legion and have a relatively balanced overall combat strength. The Dragonblood Legion's battle style didn't suit them. Boom. The earth shook. Long Chen hastily looked into the distance and saw that the sky had suddenly darkened. The dusky sky had become the black of night. That huge black hole in the distance suddenly expanded, and it was possible to see it with the naked eye from their current position now. Everyone, prepare yourself. A huge sum of points is about to arrive, shouted Long Chen. Within that huge channel, countless devil beasts were pouring out like a flood. Their numbers had multiplied, and the number of ninth rank devil beasts had also increased. In half an incense sticks worth of time, that flood of devil beasts arrived in front of the Dragonblood Legion. Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen's expressions changed slightly. There were too many devil beasts now, especially ninth rank ones. They were unable to kill them all. Li Qi, Mingyuan, provide assistance for our allies. Zifeng, why don't you go forward and make a name for yourself? Said Long Chen. Hearing Long Chen's orders, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan, who had long since been thirsty to get started, split up, going toward the Heaven Female Alliance and the 10,000 Insect Guild. They formed hand seals and then clapped their hands on the ground, shouting at the same time, exploding rock spears the ground trembled, and countless sharp spears shot out of the ground, stabbing through the devil beasts, then the yellow runes covering the rock spears exploded, blowing apart the devil beasts, in one attack, they swept away all the enemies within dozens of miles, even ninth rank devil beasts were killed with this move, earth and thorn formation, the two of them once more shouted, and something similar to brambles grew out of the ground, protecting the outer edges of the two factions. The devil beasts would be mangled and lacerated when they crashed onto the brambles. However, they seemed to have no sense of pain, and even when turned into such a bloody state, they continued to crash forward. However, the brambles were tough, slowing their speed. By the time they reached the first line of disciples, much of their flesh stayed behind on the brambles. Even ordinary disciples could easily kill them with an attack. In fact, many of them died within the brambles. Even a ninth-rank devil beast would be badly mangled after charging through the brambles, and several disciples working together could kill it very easily. When the brambles were covered by corpses, the two of them would circulate their earth energy, blowing the corpses apart. They then once more summoned a new wave of brambles. With the two of them helping, the two factions instantly had it much easier. At the same time as Li Qi and Song Mingyuan took action, Yu Zifeng also attacked. His attack allowed everyone to see the terror of sword cultivators. His attack was proof of why sword cultivators were called the number one attackers amongst cultivators. With a slash of his sword and a flash of sword key, any devil beasts, even ninth rank devil beasts, were killed in waves. All of them split apart. When Yu Zifeng sent an attack at a ninth rank devil beast, his sword key was so powerful that at the same time as it killed the ninth rank devil beast, all the devil beasts in a line dozens of miles long were killed as well. Once, a single wave of his sword instantly killed four ninth rank devil beasts in a line. It almost looked like someone was in a rice paddy, brandishing his blade. But instead of rice, he was harvesting devil beasts. Yu Zifeng is getting stronger and stronger, praised Long Chen. Yu Zifeng was walking even further on the sword Dao. Right now, he was just using ordinary attacks. Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen were filled with shock but they were also grateful to Long Chen, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were all intentionally allowing ninth rank devil beasts to get by in an injured state. The three of them were essentially giving those points to their disciples. That magnanimity was truly convincing. Long Chen hadn't even ordered them to do that. This was simply the style of the Dragonblood Legion. They never took advantage of others, and when they helped people, they helped them fully. More and more devil beasts appeared, but it only made the disciples more excited. The kill points on their bracelets were constantly climbing. Those fortunate enough to kill a ninth rank devil beast would instantly get a million points. Although in the end they would have to distribute those evenly, it still made them incredibly excited. Time trickled by in their nervous and excited states. One hour, two hours, three hours. A whole day and night passed, but the devil beasts didn't slow down. Their numbers continued to increase, until finally, Yu Zifeng's attack landed on a certain ninth rank devil beast's body. A large cut appeared in the devil beast's body, but it wasn't fatal. Startling Yu Zifeng, it roared, and opening its mouth, a black light suddenly shot toward the Dragonblood Legion. Yu Zifeng's expression drastically changed. Chapter 1088 Brute Power Wild Translator Born to be Boss
called out Yu Zifeng. Long Chen had already appeared at the front of the Dragonblood Legion, forming hand seals. A blazing flame spear shot out. Boom. The ninth rank Devil Beast's black light attack exploded upon contact with Long Chen's flame spear. The flames and black light intertwined, forming a region of death. All the Devil Beasts within that region were blown apart. That space of a hundred miles now became empty. There had been over ten ninth rank Devil Beasts there, and now they were gone. Not even ashes remained. Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen were shocked and afraid. This should be a mid ninth rank Devil Beast. Zifeng. Test its power. Long Chen's expression still didn't change. All right. Yu Zifeng sheathed his sword and flew over to it. Boom. He had only just gotten close when the ape like mid ninth rank devil beast beat its chest with its fists and roared. Another black sphere condensed in its mouth. This one even bigger than last time. It shot toward Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng suddenly changed directions. Dodging it. The black sphere once more collided with the flame spear and exploded. Exterminating another mass of devil beasts. This attack scope was even greater, and it created an even larger empty space on the battlefield. The Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Beast Guild's disciples all became afraid. If this attack landed amongst them, it was unknown how many of their corpses would remain. But the Dragonblood Legion's people were still indifferent to this mid ninth rank Devil Beast, and were still continuing according to their previous tempo. When they looked forward, they saw Long Chen standing at the front of them, and their worries faded. Long Chen was a monster and he was still as indifferent as ever. That gave everyone quite a bit of confidence. The sound of a sword coming out of its sheath rang out. Yu Zifen was right in front of the devil beast, and he slashed his sword. This time, he was not using his previous easy blow. A terrifying aura appeared in the air, one that made everyone sure this was one of his top moves. His sword landed on the devil beast's chest, leaving behind a large cut. Even its innards appeared, but it didn't die. Yu Zifen continued his sword striking like lightning. In an instant, wounds covered its arms, legs, back, and even its crotch. Yu Zifeng's sword speed was just too quick, in an instant unleashing 16 attacks. But the devil beast still didn't die. It roared and crazily attacked Yu Zifeng, but it wasn't able to touch Yu Zifeng's agile figure. It has no fatal weaknesses. Kill it. Long Chen shook his head. High edge slash. Yu Zifeng let out a low cry, and his sword suddenly unleashed sword light. Whistling similar to a dragon's cry rang out. With a cold flash, his sword fell. A ray of light created a long ditch in the ground. The mid ninth rank devil beast lay at the end of it. Its body shook for a moment and then it stopped moving. Then a breath later, its body slowly separated into two and fell to the ground. Everyone, be careful. Devil beasts with runes on their forehead are mid ninth rank devil beasts, warned Long Chen. It was hard to tell the difference between it and the other ninth rank devil beasts they had been killing. Its aura was similar, and its shape was similar. The only difference was that there was a mark on their foreheads. If people treated a mid ninth rank devil beast as an ordinary one, they would be doomed. Such terrifying devil beasts were so strong that even the Dragonblood warriors wouldn't be able to endure their attacks. Even Yu Zifeng needed to use his full power to kill one of them. From this, it could be seen just how terrifying they were. Novaloon.com, another mid ninth rank devil beast, cried Guo Ran. He intentionally shot a golden arrow at its head, and it exploded on the outside, only injuring it. mid ninth rank devil beasts had even greater defenses. Guo Ran's arrows were able to easily kill ordinary ninth rank devil beasts, but they were unable to do much to them. The second mid ninth rank devil beast was also killed by Yu Zifeng. He then began to intentionally pick out the mid ninth rank devil beasts. But after killing four of them, Long Chen frowned. If this continued... It would be too taxing on Yu Zifeng's spiritual Yuan. It had to be known that Yu Zifeng followed the sword Dao with all his heart. He had abandoned his power as a celestial, making his spiritual Yuan very limited. Furthermore, he was unable to recover as quickly as those with heavenly Dao runes. Such fierce killing with no breaks was only bearable for so long. Wild, your turn, said Long Chen. Nice. Wild excitedly charged forward, his body exploding in size. A 30-meter giant appeared on the front line. His spiked club also transformed with his body, becoming absolutely enormous. As he ran forward, the entire battlefield shook. Taste my club bang. Everyone was shocked to see a terrifying mid ninth rank devil beast being smashed apart with a single swing of Wild's club. How terrifying. They looked at the giant Wild with absolute shock and horror. This kind of terrifying power matched with such a terrifying heavy weapon is practically perfect thought Long Chen to himself. 
Wilde repeatedly smashed his club, like a giant god charging through the devil beasts. Even though countless devil beasts surrounded him, he didn't care. A swing of his club cleared the area for him, whether they were ordinary or mid-ninth rank devil beasts. Being struck meant death. Even just touching the club meant death. In front of Wilde, these devil beasts were as weak as cabbage. Perhaps only Long Chen has the qualifications to have such terrifying monsters as followers, muttered Hua Shiyu. First, Guo Ran had stunned everyone, and then Men Qi's soul arts had shaken them all. After that, Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, and Li Qi had all demonstrated great power and fierceness. She didn't feel any one of them to be weaker than herself. As for when Yu Zifeng had attacked, she had been completely shocked. That terrifying sword cultivator possessed an aura that made her heart shake. He was an existence she couldn't possibly fight. Just as she thought Yu Zifeng was the strongest person in the Dragonblood Legion, Wilde appeared. She finally realized no one was the strongest. There was always someone stronger. Even those terrifying mid-ninth rank devil beasts were killed easily. This kind of power far surpassed the scope of her understanding. The understanding of someone claimed to be a heavenly genius. While surrounded by the devil beasts, Wilde roared and the runes on his wolf club lit up. He smashed it over. The ground exploded, and a powerful key wave blew apart those devil beasts. A hundred mile area was cleared of devil beasts. The devil beasts farther back were sent flying, and even the distant disciples felt a fierce astral wind blow by, which felt like knives against their skin. He actually learned how to use technique. Long Chen was incomparably shocked. For someone with Wilde's intelligence to learn such a thing, perhaps only the Zhuangshan catalog was capable of such a heaven-defying miracle. Wilde was like a giant god amongst the devil beasts. He charged wherever he wanted, completely unstoppable. But the number of mid-ninth rank devil beasts gradually grew to the point that Wilde was only able to stop the majority of them. A few weren't drawn to him and arrived at the Dragonblood Legion. Even as Yu Zifeng once more went all out to kill them, more fish slipped past the net. Long Chen grandly bowed to Menki and Tang Wanur, solemnly saying, The heavens have let loose a calamity onto the human world. Please fairies. Help eliminate these devils. Purify the world of their evil. Even at this time, you still can't be normal. Men Qi rebuked Long Chen before she reached for her hair knot. Her long hair cascaded down. At the same time, Phoenix cries rang out. Two 300-meter rainbow-colored lights appeared in the air, flying back and forth. Their light was divine, as if true phoenixes had descended upon the world. Phoenix plume falling rain. Men Qi formed hand seals, and the phoenix lights disappeared replaced with a pair of feathered wings that covered the sky. The feathers fell to the battlefield, and devil beasts pierced by them couldn't even struggle before losing their lives. This was the attack of a soul item that contained powerful spiritual strength. At the same time as the feathers pierced their bodies, they exterminated their souls. Tang Wanner also attacked. Wind blades formed a sea in the air, cutting through devil beasts like rotting wood. The current Tang Wanner was also a rank 5 celestial and she had also reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth. Her wind blades were hundreds of times stronger than before. Seventh and eighth rank devil beasts were instantly killed on contact, while ordinary ninth rank devil beasts were only able to last a few breaths. As for the mid ninth rank devil beasts, they were able to resist, but Tang Wanner gave them some special treatment. Dozens of large wind blades would surge toward them, and just like the other devil beasts, they would be quickly cut apart and then ground to dust by countless tiny wind blades. Now, 90% of the devil beasts were taken by the Dragonblood Legion. Hua Shiyu and Wang's hen finally sighed with relief. At most, they were only able to handle two to three mid-ninth rank devil beasts at once. Anymore, and there would be huge casualties. Whenever a situation arose that made them a bit panicked, Menki and Tang Wanner would send some distant support, allowing them to continue fighting steadily. Buzz. Suddenly. The space in front of them shook. Long Chen hastily looked toward that distant spatial channel, and his heart sank. Huge concentrated figures were charging out, and they were all ninth rank devil beasts. It was unknown how many of them were at the mid ninth rank. As the devil beasts crazily charged over, Long Chen suddenly saw a distant figure. Countless earthen walls sprang out, and the devil beasts changed direction to come toward Long Chen's side. Killing intent immediately exploded out of Long Chen. You really are asking for it. Chapter 1089 Starfall Shakes Heaven and Earth Translator Born to be Long Chen was completely infuriated. Previously, they had arranged this so that the Dragonblood Legion, Heaven Female Alliance, and 10,000 Insect Guild would take disastrous losses. But now, 
It was clear they weren't just trying to make them take losses, but to completely destroy them. This was the infernal devil abyss, and experts on the level of elders and above would be heavily suppressed upon entering. The power they could unleash would be less than even a foundation forging disciple. As a result, this battlefield had always been led by foundation forging disciples, with the Zhuanshan Dao sect's elders rarely getting personally involved. As for the amount of monitoring they did, it was limited to the numbers of the devil beasts and the casualties amongst disciples. They are forcing me, Long Chen's killing intent sword. Since they wanted to play, they could play. At the same time as Long Chen's fury sword, light barriers began to appear in the passage. The Zuan master's voice rang out. The scope of this eruption is too great, and all channels are to be sealed. All disciples, go all out and kill the devil beasts to win time to activate the stronghold. Hearing this, everyone sighed with relief. In truth, seeing this many ninth rank devil beasts had caused many of them to fall into despair just now. Long Chen, do you have any opinions? Suddenly, the Zuan master's voice rang out in Long Chen's head. He was communicating with him spiritually. I have a way to exterminate all these devil beasts without activating the stronghold, said Long Chen after thinking about it for a moment. Oh, what way? The Zuan master was a bit startled. He would like to avoid using the stronghold, as it was the Zhuanshan Dao sect's final trump card. Once activated, it would use up all the profit the Zhuanshan Dao sect had made in centuries, maybe even a millennium. Even a large sect like the Zhuanshan Dao sect couldn't bear it. The Dao sect would prefer giving the disciples great rewards for killing the devil beasts rather than activating the stronghold. That would simply be burning money without the slightest benefit. After all, giving points to disciples still counted as raising them. Disciple has already reached the 12 the great circle of sea expansion. If I invoke heavenly tribulation, no matter how many devil beasts there are, they will all be killed, said Long Chen. Originally, he had been hoping to save his heavenly tribulation for something big. But recently, there hadn't been anything big. He was now impatient to advance to Foundation Forging Novaloon.com. The fifth star's pill formula still refused to appear. That made him feel a bit panicked. His guess was that he would only be able to obtain the fifth star's formula once he advanced to the Foundation Forging realm. In the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he felt his superiority weakening more and more. His ability to fight across realms was dropping, and just fighting against the same realm took all his power now. Heavenly Tribulation? Do you feel that will be enough? The Zuan Master was surprised by this answer. If others had come up with this idea, he would have immediately refused. It'll definitely be enough, said Long Chen. Only he knew just how terrifying his Heavenly Tribulations were. In truth, the fact that he hadn't started refining the fifth star made him feel a bit uneasy about passing. All right, if you can stop this sudden turmoil in the abyss, I, Li Xiangxuan, will owe you a favor said the Zuan Master. A favor from the Zuan Master. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted, as that would be a terrifying trump card. As expected, the Zuan Master was someone trustworthy who would always return favors. Zuan Master, you've also seen that those bastards. Long Chen started to probe Zuan Master's opinion of the plot Gao Xian Yang had been using against him. Ignore him for now. I have a great use for him. First, kill these devil beasts here. I can only transport people out once space is stable, said the Zuan master. A great use for them? Long Chen was startled. It seemed he was still too immature. Now he felt that it was very likely that the law enforcement hall master's unbridled actions were all intentionally arranged by the Zuan master. Long Chen nodded. There were still a hundred miles until the devil beasts arrived. There were at least tens of thousands of mid-ninth rank devil beasts. Even Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen were feeling despair. Suddenly. Huge flame wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and flame runes ignited the air. Long Chen was finally taking action. Like a god of fire and war, he soared to the front. Everyone, retreat. Even as he shouted at them, he continued forward. The runes around him grew more concentrated, and explosive rumbling came from his body like the roaring of a volcano. Heaven and Earth's energy was pouring toward him. Long Chen's left hand grabbed his right elbow, and a tiny ball slowly appeared in his right palm. That ball had only just appeared when it felt like the world lost all its original color to become fiery red. Quick, run. Boss is unleashing a big move, shouted Guo Ran. The Dragonblood Legion had already begun retreating, but the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild were still a bit dazed. They were just watching as Long Chen flew into the midst of tens of thousands of mid ninth rank devil beasts. Only once Guo Ran shouted did they react. They hastily retreated. 
At this time, Long Chen had already reached the center of the crowd of ninth rank devil beasts. The ball in his hand had grown to the size of an apple, which was his current limit. It began to rapidly revolve, causing heaven and earth to rumble. A huge flame hurricane appeared around him, looking like the end of the world. Starfall. Long Chen roared and the hurricane disappeared. The world instantly became calm, as if it had lost all sound, as if space and time were frozen. A small ball of flames left Long Chen's hand and fell to the ground. Once it touched the ground, that small ball instantly exploded, devouring everything around it. Boom! A huge explosion rocked heaven and earth as endless flames rampaged. Even the disciples from the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild that were in the midst of rapidly running were instantly caught up by the flames. Meteorite Earth and Cover Song Mingyuan and Li Qi both roared at the same time and slammed the ground with their hands. The ground sank, and a thick cover formed above those disciples. It's hot. Startled cries rang out as they felt like they were buns in a steamer. The cover above their heads had already turned red. Song Mingyuan and Li Qi quickly withdrew their defenses once the flames were gone, and everyone flew out to see that the land had turned a charred black. The distant dragon blood Legion was also looking extremely miserable, with their robes burned badly but they were strong enough, and they weren't injured. All of them looked over in absolute shock to see a figure still floating in the air. All the devil beasts within thousands of miles around him had been killed. This is being a true badass. In comparison, I'm just an actor acting badass, said Guo Ran worshipfully. There was always a great difference between being badass and being a poser acting like a badass. This terrifying attack power was something none of them had ever witnessed. They had never even heard of such a stunning thing. It was too powerful. Long Chen looked at his own hand with some disbelief. His palm was cracked and chared, but he didn't mind. This was the limit that he could control right now. Starfall's power was actually even greater than this, but if he increased it anymore, he wouldn't be able to bear it. This was another reason why he greatly wished to advance to foundation forging. Starfall was practically a divine magical art. Its power was limitless. It was just up to how much flame energy Long Chen could bear. Long Chen clenched his right hand and a chaired layer of skin fell off. In less than half a breath's time, his right hand was as good as new. However, it's also a bigger spender. At my current level, I can only use it twice, but its power is such that I could definitely kill whoever I wanted. Long Chen laughed wickedly. Suddenly, he turned around and shouted, There are still a few leftovers. It's the last chance to get so many points. So work hard. There's no more easy work in the future. Long Chen's attack had been absolutely terrifying. It had killed 99% of all the mid 9th rank devil beasts. In the distance, there were less than 100 9th rank devil beasts left. The path behind the devil beasts had been blocked, and their numbers had dropped precipitously. There was also no need to guard the wall. They could go out and slaughter the rest of them. The remaining devil beasts were quickly tidied up. At this moment, Long Chen looked at his bracelet and saw there was no longer any number on it. There was just a strange symbol. This bracelet was only able to count up to 1 billion. The ninth rank devil beasts he had killed before numbered over 40,000, with each one of them being worth 1 million points. As for mid ninth rank devil beasts, no value had been publicly announced. But even if they were worth the same as ordinary ninth rank devil beasts, this one attack had caused his points to skyrocket. After an incense stick's worth of time, the remaining devil beasts were all killed, but roars and booming still rang out in the distance. The others clearly hadn't finished fighting yet. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were filled with pride. They were the ones to kill their devil beasts first. In truth, they didn't even realize that this place they were defending had pulled in over a third of all the devil beasts. The remaining devil beasts were split up between the senior disciples as well as the Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, and Flame Gate. The Dragonblood Legion's pride was fully deserved. After another incense stick's worth of time, the distant roaring finally came to a stop. Everything was silent. At this time, the badges on their waists lit up. The light enveloped them and took them back to the inner sect plaza. Once they arrived, the Dragonblood Legion, Heaven Female Alliance, and 10,000 Insect Guild's disciples jumped in shock. They saw that the number of inner sect disciples had instantly dropped by quite a bit. To be more specific, over half the Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, and Flame Gate's disciples hadn't returned. The ones who had were covered in blood, and some only had half their bodies left. When those people saw the Dragonblood Legion and the others, their expressions completely changed. They found that their numbers had essentially not dropped at all. You definitely cheated, roared one of the Hegemon Hall's disciples. You really are like a wild dog. 
Guo Ran glared at that person icily. All disciples are to return to their headquarters to rest. Specialized healing experts will come over to help you recover. Your battle ends here, said Li Changfang. Just as everyone was scattering with different thoughts in their heads, Meng Qi suddenly cried out, Where is Long Chen? Chapter 1090 World Destroying Tribulation Translator Born to be Long Chen was naturally still in the infernal devil abyss. At this time, he was near the entrance to the spatial channel inside. This huge black hole channel was like a gaping maw trying to devour the entire world. Are you confident? This is a special place, and stronger experts are suppressed. If something happens to you, I can't save you. Don't carelessly play with your life. The Zuan master's voice rang out in his head. It's fine. I have experience, said Long Chen. Of course he had experience. He had used his heavenly tribulation to con countless powerful enemies. His experience told him that every time his heavenly tribulation appeared, it would first exterminate the others before moving to destroy him. Before those fellows died, his tribulation wouldn't end. Having been going through tribulations since advancing to blood condensation, he was definitely a pro at passing tribulations. The light barriers ahead of him were constantly shuddering as they were impacted by some kind of energy. Cracks were starting to appear on them. Please keep disciples secret, said Long Chen. Don't worry, this matter will not reach another person's ears. The only one in the infernal devil abyss now is you, said the Zuan master. Then I'll start now. Long Chen closed his eyes. His four stars slowly revolved, and his four key seas looked as if they were boiling. Boundless spiritual yuan surged through his body. Long Chen was about to attack the foundation forging realm. Because he had no Danshan, he was unable to use his Danshan to attack the barrier. Right now, what he was relying on were his body's 108,000 acupuncture points. This was something he had suddenly comprehended when advancing to see expansion. These acupuncture points were places that could store his divine runes and when the time came, his spiritual yuan. Normally, they were only used for activating magical arts or battle skills. But now Long Chen was blazing an alternate path, using the 108,000 acupuncture points as his danshan. He fully activated them, pouring the energy of his four seas into them. Each acupuncture point began to expand as he poured in spiritual yuan, and as a result, heaven and earth began to rumble. Boom. Suddenly, the final light barrier in front of him broke, and a veritable endless wave of devil beasts charged out. It was like a black tide pouring toward him. Long Chen didn't make any movements. His four key seas were gushing with energy, and his 108,000 acupuncture points were fully activated. The sky turned dark. This time, it was true darkness. So dark that you couldn't see your fingers even if you waved them in front of your eyes. Boundless tribulation clouds covered this entire world. It was like the apocalypse had come. Lightning began to flash within the tribulation clouds. At the same time, a terrifying pressure that caused heaven and earth to quiver descended. Long Chen took a deep breath. He could feel that the tribulation this time was terrifying to an unprecedented level. Even before it descended, the pressure it unleashed made it hard for him to breathe. At this time, a translucent figure stood on a distant wall in the infernal devil abyss, looking in Long Chen's direction. This was the Zuan master. However, it wasn't his true body, but a wisp of his divine will. As the suppression from this place was too great, his true body was unable to enter and he was only able to use this method to keep an eye on Long Chen. This is an apocalyptic tribulation, a heavenly tribulation only divergence will undergo. It only contains a will to destroy, without the slightest life energy, muttered the Zuan Master. Even for the Zuan Master, this was his first time seeing a divergent undergoing tribulation. It was an extremely rare thing, as such apocalyptic tribulations were normally only ever recorded in legends. Only a few people had ever seen them. Within the endless tide of devil beasts, the majority had reached the ninth rank, and a third of those were at the mid-ninth rank. Most terrifying of all, some of these ninth rank devil beasts had scales and powerful auras. They were actually the unprecedented late ninth rank devil beasts. Break. Long Chen suddenly roared, and his spiritual yuan detonated within his 108,000 acupuncture points. His acupuncture points rapidly expanded and a cracking sound rang out. It was like something had broken within Long Chen's body. A terrifying aura soared into the sky. Within that darkness, a sea of lightning suddenly appeared. The sea of lightning was filled with lightning runes, and one by one, they fell. They automatically exploded amongst the devil beasts. These devil beasts were innately weak to this kind of heavenly tribulation. They exploded along with the lightning runes. 
All the ordinary ninth rank devil beasts were unable to endure it. Mid ninth rank devil beasts could only last for a few seconds, while late ninth rank devil beasts with their powerful scales were still able to last three to five breaths. The sea of lightning was 10,000 miles wide, covering this entire passage. The endless tide of devil beasts was destroyed without even getting a chance to approach Long Chen. While his body was bathed in lightning, a 30,000 meter lightning dragon appeared behind Long Chen. It crazily devoured all the lightning runes around him. So that's what it was. The Zuan master suddenly realized how Long Chen was able to control tribulation lightning. His lightning was all gathered like this. Lai Long was like a magical beast that hadn't eaten anything in 10,000 years. It crazily devoured the lightning runes. This time, the lightning tribulation was extremely powerful. Just the first wave was already these exploding lightning runes. Just one of them could instantly kill a sea expansion expert. The Zuan master also realized why Long Chen was so sure he could block the devil beast army. Such a terrifying lightning tribulation wasn't something a human could pass. Heavenly tribulation was 90% destructive, and 10% life-giving. As long as you understood how to grasp that bit of life energy, acting in tune with the will of the heavenly tribulation, the chances of passing it were very high. But when it came to Long Chen's tribulation, it didn't care if he acted in tune with it or not. It simply wanted to destroy him, giving him no chance at all. This was like how a mortal was able to swim in water. It was because they had time to breathe. Heavenly tribulation was the same. Grasping the bit of life energy was equivalent to winning breathing room. You wouldn't drown. But Long Chen's annihilation tribulation gave him no breathing room at all. It existed purely to kill him. However, Long Chen was still calmly standing there. He was absolutely fine as he allowed the lightning runes to explode on his body. His physical body was extremely powerful. When it came to just his physical body, he was even stronger than ordinary Jade Core experts. Other than Wild, his physical body could be rated as number one. Even as the Sea of Lightning continued, those devil beasts continued to charge through the channel without a thought. As a result, however many came was however many died. They acted fearlessly like mindless puppets. Time passed bit by bit. Lai Long was constantly growing stronger, but curiously. The heavenly tribulation still maintained this phase without growing stronger. Long Chen smiled in derision. The tribulation was waiting. It was waiting until there was no one else interfering to completely destroy him. He had figured out its methods. If he hadn't heard that heavenly tribulation was a manifestation of the heavenly deos and that no one could control it, he would suspect that someone was intentionally using heavenly tribulation to kill him. Even after a day and a night, the devil beasts continued to pour out from the channel. Shocking even the Zuan master. The eruption this time was too terrifying and had far surpassed the last record. If they had used the stronghold to kill them all, then the price would have gravely harmed the core of the Zuanchen Deo sect. Therefore, it could be said that Long Chen was making a huge contribution to the Zuanchen Deo sect finally. After several more hours, it was unknown how many devil beasts had been destroyed. In any case, the ground was covered in broken bits of their corpses, and no more came out of the spatial channel. The sea of lightning in the air seemed to sense something, and an even more terrifying pressure crashed down. Heaven and earth rumbled, and the void split open as countless figures descended like huge mountains. These were huge lightning monsters formed entirely of lightning runes. They were several miles long and extremely lifelike. With heaven shaking roars, they charged at Long Chen. There were all kinds of them. Eagles, elephants, dragons, phoenixes. Their huge figures were even more powerful than those late ninth rank devil beasts. They're finally here. Then let's fight. Wings appeared behind Long Chen, as well as his divine ring. Four stars revolved in his eyes. Boom. Long Chen sent a punch at the first lightning monster. Now, spiritual Yuan existed within all 108,000 of his acupuncture points, and he felt like his body was brimming with unprecedented power. This was an all-out attack from him, and this lightning monster was blown apart transforming into lightning runes. What fierce energy. But I can't feel his immortal platform condensing. Where does his power come from? Even the Zuan master's expression changed. The foundation forging realm referred to condensing the immortal platform above the key sea. Using one's essence, key, and spirit. The goal was to condense your own original rune. That rune was the foundation of the immortal platform. Then you would continue condensing runes on top of it. And once you condensed the ninth one, they would transform into one again. That would bring you to the first heaven stage of foundation forging. The second heaven stage involved condensing eight such runes. The third heaven stage required condensing seven. 
etc. They condensed higher and higher, creating your immortal platform. In the immortal era, that platform would be your foundation for becoming a god or immortal. But the Zuan master was unable to sense the existence of Long Chen's immortal platform, nor did he see his original rune appear on his forehead. However, his combat power was dozens of times greater than before. That was a clear sign that he had advanced to the foundation forging realm. Even the Zuan master was unable to tell what was happening. Long Chen repeatedly struck down lightning beasts with his fists. With his current power, none of them were able to take a single blow. Chapter 1091 Lightning Incarnation Translator Born to be Long Chen felt like there was a seed within each of his 108,000 acupuncture points now. Although it was just starting to bud and hadn't sprouted, he felt boundless energy coming out of them, giving him immense strength. The 108,000 seeds were transforming his body. A cycle of energy formed throughout his acupuncture points. With his four seas as the primer, the acupuncture points were all connected. He felt his spiritual yuan rumbling within him. This is the power of the foundation forging realm? It's absolutely terrifying. The method I bet on really was right. The nine-star hegemon body art is cultivated just like this. Long Chen was so thankful that he almost wept tears. In his life, his luck was so terrible that everything he did ended up with twists and turns. But this time, he had finally won a gamble. To put it in his words, the heavens really were blind. With this immense power surging within him, he felt possessed by a god of war. Those terrifying lightning monsters were all destroyed with a single punch each. After they were destroyed, they would try to reform. But naturally Long Chen wasn't so stupid as to just allow them to reform. Lai Long didn't foolishly waste its energy fighting these lightning monsters. It directly went to devour their remnants. Once Lai Long devoured them, they couldn't reform. Long Chen fought against them for several hours. He only became fiercer, and eventually, their numbers began to drop and Lai Long's aura continued to increase. Just like Huo Long, it no longer continued to grow, instead maintaining a 30,000 meter body. Once the final lightning monster was killed, countless figures once more descended from the sky. They were ancient heroic spirits. Legend said that they were heavenly geniuses who had fallen in their heavenly tribulations. Their unyielding wills had caused them to transform into heroic spirits, and they were controlled by the heavenly deos to kill others undergoing tribulation. Long Chen met the first one with his fist. The ancient heroic spirit's upper body exploded, while Long Chen was knocked back hundreds of meters. The ancient heroic spirit's body quickly recovered, and it once more rushed toward him. At this time, a huge spear came piercing toward Long Chen's back. Long Chen fiercely smashed his fist on that spear, borrowing the energy of that collision. He flew out, dodging the other ancient heroic spirit's attacks. He suddenly felt a burst of pain on his back when a lightning arrow pierced through him. He saw a distant ancient heroic spirit holding a bow. This arrow had come silently without warning. It was clearly imbued by a kind of magical art that made it difficult to dodge. These ancient heroic spirits were the top heavenly geniuses of their generations. Although their power had dropped greatly after being turned into this state, they had been peak geniuses in their lifetimes. They had been killed during their foundation forging tribulations. That was because they had refused to comply with the heavenly deos during their tribulations. Their refusal to submit had caused them to be destroyed. Those who dared to resist the heavenly deos all had to be stunning geniuses. Now, hundreds of them were surrounding Long Chen. Fuck off. Long Chen snorted coldly, directly calling back Lai Long as it was unable to devour these ancient heroic spirits. Now, a huge lightning blade appeared in Long Chen's hands. Lai Long's own combat power wasn't high enough, but when transformed into a lightning blade and connected with Long Chen's spiritual yuan, it was completely different. Holding the lightning blade, Long Chen charged toward an ancient heroic spirit, and let out a simple slash. The weapon it was holding shattered, and the ancient heroic spirit was split in two. As soon as it was destroyed, a huge flame dragon appeared and swallowed it into its stomach. Although Huo Long was powerful, there wasn't much contradiction between lightning and fire. Thus, it was unable to fight effectively against them. But it was precisely because of this lack of contradiction that once Huo Long devoured the ancient heroic spirit's destroyed body, its energy would be isolated from the outside world's heavenly deos. It would be unable to reform. And once devoured, Huo Long would return within Long Chen's body and send the energy to Lai Long. Lai Long would essentially devour the ancient heroic spirit's divine runes. Long Chen could clearly sense the lightning blade in his hands grow stronger after Lai Long had devoured the ancient heroic spirit's runes. 
Just a single ancient heroic spirit was immensely beneficial to Lai Long. Holding the lightning blade, he crazily attacked the ancient heroic spirits. They weren't just powerful, they also possessed combat experience. Fighting against them was difficult, as they lacked openings. While he was surrounded, he could only fight them head on. Practically each time he killed one, he would have to receive an attack from the others. There was one time his head was almost struck by an arrow. After killing that one, he summoned Huo Long's split bodies. Although they were unable to cause any damage to these ancient heroic spirits, they could slow them down a bit. One of those flame dragons entangled the archer ancient heroic spirit. That ancient heroic spirit was unable to escape Huo Long's entanglement, and as a result, it was killed with one blow from Long Chen. With Huo Long's help, Long Chen had it much easier. He was no longer forced to repeatedly fall back and was now able to attack and defend properly. Each time an ancient heroic spirit was killed, it would be devoured by a flame dragon and sent to Lai Long. Long Chen felt the lightning blade in his hand expressing its joy. Lai Long was growing stronger and stronger, and now, the ancient heroic spirit's weapons would explode upon contact with it. After two hours, the final ancient heroic spirit was killed. Long Chen was covered in blood, but he didn't circulate the primal chaos bead to heal. He guessed that now that he had advanced to foundation forging, the iron spruce oaks would only be able to offer him a single full recovery. He didn't dare to tap into their energy before he had to. Fortunately, after advancing to foundation forging, his acupuncture points actually had the effect of nourishing his injuries. Although it wasn't so far as to allow him to rapidly recover, he could at least bear these injuries. A fierce rumble came from his lightning blade. Long Chen was startled and delighted. Lai Long was now also able to send Long Chen spiritual messages. Although it was a bit muddled and wasn't as clear as Huo Long, he knew that Lai Long was also close to transforming as well. Just at this moment, lightning chains descended from the sky. You want to bind me? Idiot. You think I'd fall for the same trick twice? Split the heavens too. Long Chen snorted and slashed his saber. He had almost died because of these chains in the immemorial path. Once bound, it would be extremely troublesome. The lightning blade slashed through the air, shattering the lightning chains that were incredibly weak in front of it. They transformed into runes and began to fade. Want to run? Keep dreaming. Long Chen continuously destroyed the lightning chains. Each time he attacked, he used the second form of split the heavens. This was the most powerful blow he could unleash instantaneously. The lightning chains were rapidly destroyed and eight flame dragons crazily devoured their remnants. Others only know that Long Chen is strong, but they don't know that he has no choice but to be strong, sighed the Zuan master. From Long Chen's calm expression, he could tell that this terrifying tribulation was something he had long since been prepared for. He had clearly endured such a thing more than once. For him to be able to survive such terrifying tribulations was essentially a miracle in itself. Just how much hardship did he have to go through to create such miracles over and over again? Only he himself knew. If Long Chen wasn't strong, there would no longer be a Long Chen in this world, nor would there be a Dragonblood Legion. He's similar to a legendary Heaven Caesar. They snatch Heaven and Earth's luck and destiny for themselves. But Heaven Caesars are always isolated figures. Natural unlucky stars faded to always be alone. But Long Chen has so many allies and so many brothers and sisters by his side. It's different from the legends. Curious, the Zuan master couldn't help being a bit puzzled. After wiping out the chains, Long Chen suddenly pointed his blade toward the sky. A terrifying aura caused the world to shake. Split the heavens three. Long Chen roared furiously, his lightning saber unleashing divine rumbling. The Zuan master's pupils shrank. This attack of Long Chen's caused the very sky to be split. A large opening appeared in the tribulation clouds. It was like a granary had been cut open. Endless lightning poured out toward Long Chen. Long Chen had originally just been venting a bit. It was too depressing to be constantly suppressed by heavenly tribulation. So when he finally had a chance to counterattack, he took it. He hadn't expected to get such a result. Time to eat. Eight flame dragons charged towards the lightning runes. Those were the purest essence of the tribulation. But there were too many lightning runes. The flame dragons' stomachs inflated like balloons before they returned to Long Chen's body. Spitting out their contents to Lai Long, they charged out once more. The huge cut quickly healed. Heaven and earth trembled intensely as if the world was infuriated. But after this attack, the tribulation clouds had clearly grown less dense. A great deal of their essence had entered Lai Long's body. Boom. Suddenly, the tribulation clouds exploded. A figure holding a halberd appeared in front of Long Chen. It was a person. 
a true person. He looked just like someone made of flesh and blood. The only difference was that his pupils contained two flashing lightning runes. As soon as that person appeared, Long Chen's heart shook and his hair stood on end. This person was extremely dangerous. Those who defy the heavens will all be destroyed by the heavenly deos. In front of the mandate of the heavens, face your death. That halberd wielding man actually spoke, causing the distant Zuan master's pupils to shrink. Chapter 1092 Terrifying Lightning Incarnation Translator Born to be this strange person was actually able to speak. Its voice was harsh, not at all like a person's voice. It was more like the transmission of a mental message. When that figure spoke, Long Chen was startled, while the Zuan master was even more startled. He's not an Empyrean, nor is he a Heaven Caesar. He's the most domineering type amongst all heavenly geniuses, a Heaven Defier. The Zuan master looked at Long Chen with absolute shock. Empyreans, Heaven Caesars, and Heaven Defiers were all legendary existences. It was rare to find a single one in 10,000 years. The latter especially was something that was only rumored to exist within legends. Empyreans were born in times of calamity. They were the result of the heaven's will, birthed to fight against upcoming catastrophe, or perhaps in times when the world was in great chaos, when a supreme power was about to be exterminated, there was a chance of an Empyrean appearing. These Empyreans would all rise like shooting stars, bringing order to chaos. They fought against a crazy titan were existences that stood at the peak of the martial path. As for heaven Caesars, they were a domineering type of divergence. The people they killed would have their karmic luck snatched away by them, and that allowed the heaven Caesars to grow exceptionally quickly. However, these legendary heaven Caesars were all innately cold and tended to side toward brutal slaughter. Now, whenever someone encountered such a divergent, the world had to bring out their full power to eliminate them to prevent disaster. There were two records of powerful heaven Caesars that had emerged from the martial heaven continent. Those two times had caused immense turmoil on the continent, because in the end, those heaven Caesars had sided with the corrupt path and undertaken a slaughter of the righteous path, causing them to take heavy casualties. So later, the righteous path had made a decree that if any sect took in a heaven Caesar and raised them instead of eliminating them, the entire righteous path would become their enemy. As a result, in the last tens of thousands of years, any fellows suspected to be heaven Caesars had been killed. Other than these two legendary existences, there was an even more terrifying existence. Heaven Defier. The information about Heaven Defiers was limited to legend, and their very existence was in defiance of the heavens. They were enemies of the heavenly deos, refusing to submit to the heavens' will. Each time they broke through barriers, they would be sensed by the heavenly deos, which would then do anything they could to destroy them. There was a saying that such people should have never existed within the world. Their fundamental existence was a mistake, so they had to be eliminated. There was another saying that if a heaven defier managed to grow, they would one day be able to threaten the heavenly deos and overturn heaven and earth. As a result, the world would unleash a destructive heavenly tribulation on them whenever they advanced. It was no wonder the Zuan master had felt it was odd that this tribulation hadn't even had any life energy. Even heaven Caesars should have had some life energy in their tribulations. Looking at the tribulation Long Chen was undergoing, he knew this wasn't something a person should be able to pass. This was a heavenly punishment, but Long Chen had survived. Now that this strange figure had appeared, the Zuan master became a bit uneasy. He sensed powerful energy fluctuations from this figure. Fuck your heavenly deos, and fuck your will of the heavens. You want to annihilate me, so am I supposed to just obediently lie here for you? Are you an idiot? Cursed Long Chen. He asked himself when he had ever offended anyone. He was candid and open with what he did, and he never did anything he felt guilty about. But the heavens always wanted to exterminate him. He had long since begun holding a stomach full of anger. Elimination is your only ending. That figure icily gave him a reply before its halberd suddenly caused space to shake. Lightning erupted out of it, and it smashed toward Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't been the slightest bit careless. He was completely focused, knowing that this figure had to be absolutely terrifying. Boom. Lightning exploded. Long Chen almost vomited blood as he shot back like a shooting star and created a long ditch on the ground. What terrifying power. Long Chen was shocked. He hadn't thought that a random blow from this lightning incarnation would possess such power. He was just about to stand when he felt something odd behind him. His hair stood on end, and a sensation of mortal danger filled his heart. Without even thinking about it, he shot to the side. Blood flew as a long cut appeared on Long Chen's back. He had almost been pierced through the heart. If that halberd pierced him, he would very likely be instantly killed. 
He had only just dodged when, without even thinking about it, he swung his lightning blade behind him. Boom. His lightning blade smashed against the halberd, and he was once more sent flying. How can it be this fast? Long Chen roared furiously inside as he flipped through the air. This speed was outside his understanding. Long Chen was repeatedly blown back without even being able to see his opponent. He could only rely on his other senses to block, and he coughed up blood over and over again. The Grand Dao is formless. The Grand Dao is emotionless. Sand covers the desert, and all things have spirits. Just as Long Chen was forced into a miserable state, the Zuan Master's voice suddenly rang out in his mind. The Zuan Master had only just finished when his expression changed. A formless pressure gathered in the air and shot towards him. Boom. The Zuan Master's avatar exploded. Within a private room of the Zuan Chen Dao sect, the sitting Zuan Master's eyes suddenly flew open. How close. If I hadn't self-destructed my divine will, I would have been caught by the heavenly Dao's. Then it would have been really troublesome. The Zuan Master slowly closed his eyes once more, and a strand of his divine will once more appeared in the abyss. He wasn't at all assured of Long Chen's condition. The Grand Dao is formless. The Grand Dao is emotionless. Sand covers the desert, and all things have spirits. Long Chen repeated this phrase again. So that's what's going on. The Grand Dao is formless, making it difficult to capture their substance. The Grand Dao is emotionless, making it difficult to capture their intent. Sand covers the desert? Fuck. No wonder I can't fight it. This entire place is filled with lightning. This is its domain. And it can freely move within it with basically no spatial limitations. No matter how far I dodge. As long as I remains within this lightning domain. It can reach me instantly. All things have spirits. What is that supposed to mean? Long Chen immediately understood the first three points. But that last part was too vague. How was that supposed to relate to his situation? Boom. Long Chen was once more sent flying by a heavy impact. This time, a nick appeared in his lightning blade. Long Chen felt Li Long's pain. All things have spirits. Long Chen suddenly closed his eyes as he flipped through the air. He used Li Long's senses to view the world. In that instant, Long Chen was no longer blind. The world became incomparably clear, and he saw the lightning incarnation. It had already appeared behind him. Its halberd raised in the air. Now I've got you. Green Dragon Battle Armor. Green scales covered Long Chen's body. A powerful aura surged into the sky, and the terrifying pressure caused the ground to crack. This was Long Chen's first time using the Green Dragon battle armor since advancing to foundation forging. The essence blood in his body was like ignited gunpowder. It was like endless energy was erupting within him. Die. Long Chen roared. His spiritual yuan, essence blood, and spiritual strength all poured into Lai Long. The lightning blade unleashed blinding light as it slashed at the lightning incarnation. Boom. The halberd and lightning blade slammed together, and the ground exploded. But neither party was forced back by the other. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed uproariously. Spiritual Yuan swelled throughout his 108,000 acupuncture points, and that vast energy poured out of him. The lightning incarnation was still emotionless. As Long Chen poured in more energy, the lightning in the air was absorbed by the lightning incarnation. In the end, there wasn't the slightest sign of any lightning tribulation in the air. Boom. But the two of them were still clashing all out. The ground was constantly being blown apart, forming a pit that continuously grew. The two of them were now fighting in an empty space. At first, this empty space had been filled with lightning, but those lightning runes had condensed until they were a small ball as bright as the blazing sun. Boom. Finally, that sun exploded. Two figures shot out and then once more attacked each other. Each time they collided, it was a heaven-shaking collision. The terrain was constantly changing as the two of them flew through the air like meteors. This intense fight continued for two hours. Heaven and Earth had been completely toppled. PFF. Suddenly, the halberd pierced Long Chen's chest. Cracks spread throughout his body, but Long Chen's lightning blade had also pierced the lightning incarnation's body. Explode. Long Chen suddenly shouted. The cracks spreading around his body instantly healed. While his lightning blade exploded, Long Chen had actually detonated his lightning blade, and the lightning incarnation's body also exploded with it, transforming into a sky full of runes. Quick, devour them. Cough. Eight flame dragons shot out, devouring those lightning runes. Those runes didn't just belong to the lightning incarnation, but also Lai Long. Lai Long's self destruction was essentially throwing away half its life, but Long Chen had had no other choice. He hadn't been able to continue so intensely any longer. With that last exchange when the halberd had pierced his chest, he had almost exploded. 
Long Chen had completely unleashed all the primal chaos space's life energy to contain and heal that injury, as well as to bear the power of Li Long's self-destruction. But as a result, when the lightning incarnation had exploded, its halberd had also exploded in his body. If he hadn't healed back to his peak in that instant, he would have died. Even so, there was a large bloody hole in his chest, and his face was as pale as paper. He panted for breath. This was his most miserable lightning tribulation. It had been too monstrous, and he had almost died. He swallowed a healing pill to suppress his injuries. Just as all the lightning runes in the air were devoured by Huo Long and he was about to leave, Black Mist suddenly appeared at the end of the abyss, and a figure slowly materialized in the air, one with skin as white as snow and a pair of ocean blue eyes. She icily stared at Long Chen. You? Why would you appear here? Long Chen's jaw dropped. Chapter 1093 Blaspheming a God Translator Born to be that beautiful figure was perfect, with curves where there should be curves, but no excess curves elsewhere. There wasn't the slightest bit of her appearance that should be changed. A face like jade, bright eyes like sapphires, an image of the peak of beauty. Her face had reached the level of perfection. Even each hair of her left and right eyebrows matched perfectly. That was a kind of beauty that shouldn't exist in this world. Only one person possessed such an image. The Devil Empress Len Yuian. Len Yuian, why are you here? Wait, when did you grow to this extent? You, you wouldn't want to kill me, right? Long Chen looked in shock at Len Yuian. It had only been just over a year since they had left the immemorial path. Long Chen had just reached foundation forging, but he found that he still had to look up to her. He wasn't even able to comprehend her current cultivation base. She was floating in the air, black clouds surging around her. The space around was constantly splitting and healing. She looked at Long Chen like she was a god, giving Long Chen a blow. Was the difference between them really so great now? Divergence of heaven and earth are in defiance of the heavens. Thy bravery is admirable, but those in violation of the nether world will not be recorded within it. This woman's voice was just as beautiful as her appearance. But what shocked Long Chen was that as she spoke, the world seemed to echo what she was saying, as if the world was prostrating itself to her. By being here, she became the ruler of the world. The distant Zuan master was filled with shock as he looked at her. Long Chen simply didn't know who she was because he hadn't reached that height yet. Hey, after leaving the immemorial path, did you give up the martial path for literature? Why are you speaking like that? Asked Long Chen. Thou hast the wrong person, she said. Really? You're someone else. Long Chen was stunned. He carefully looked at her. That perfect face. That perfect body. She was essentially the same as Len Yuian. He wondered if the feeling would be the same as well. Perhaps if he could just have a touch, he would be able to tell that she really wasn't Len Yuian. Back then, Len Yuian had nestled against him in a cave. He definitely would be able to tell if the feeling of her skin was the same, or if she smelled the same. Perhaps that was an innate skill he had learned from Little Snow. Blasphemy. Long Chen had only just thought about whether he should try it when the woman shouted coldly. The space around her exploded and a huge sword fell toward him. In that instant, Long Chen was filled with horror. This sword was completely destroying space as it fell. It was unblockable, unavoidable. Even in his peak state, he would only be able to watch as he was killed, let alone in his injured state. Just as he thought he was dead, an ancient bronze mirror appeared in the air. The ancient mirror's runes lit up, making it brighter than the sun. It unleashed a huge light barrier around Long Chen. That huge sword instantly rebounded upon striking the barrier and slashed back toward the woman. Boom. She waved a hand, and the huge sword exploded. With a cold snort, she was just about to attack once more when the light of the mirror fell onto Long Chen. He and the mirror both vanished. She glared at the air. Boundless energy was currently gathering there. She icily stared for a moment before she vanished back into the spatial channel. Once she was gone, that rapidly gathering energy slowly dissipated as if nothing had happened. Long Chen had thought he was dead, sensing he had been saved. His weary, broken body finally couldn't endure any longer. He fainted. Within the endless darkness, he waited a long time, but that voice didn't appear again. That voice would appear every time he descended in this darkness, but it didn't appear this time. Furthermore, he didn't sense the pill formula that should have appeared. He didn't know how long had passed, but he eventually opened his eyes. He saw that he was lying on the ground. While the Zuan master was sitting in meditation near him, when he opened his eyes, the Zuan master's eyes also opened. Long Chen hastily sat up. He found that all his injuries had already healed. Many thanks for saving me, Zuan master, said Long Chen. The Zuan master looked at Long Chen oddly. 
After a long moment, he said, you're a real man. He, Zuan Master overpraises me. This lightning tribulation Long Chen wanted to say some humble words. I'm not talking about your lightning tribulation. I'm talking about that woman. You actually were able to form such a desire toward a god. You, you have gods, said the Zuan Master with a mixed expression. The Zuan Master's cultivation base was far above Long Chen's. He didn't even need to intentionally probe his spiritual fluctuations to tell what he was thinking. So he said Long Chen had gods. Almost too much so. To dare want to commit that kind of blasphemy against a god. He was truly a man. A god? That's impossible. I know her, said Long Chen. This world is a plenty with two people who look the exact same. Let alone just two. There are dozens of people who can look the same. Fortunately, her true body didn't come. Otherwise, even using the reincarnation mirror, I wouldn't be able to bring you out alive, said the Zuan master. Ah, Long Chen couldn't help being flabbergasted. How was this possible? She looked exactly like Len Yuan, and their icy temperament was identical. Even their auras had been strikingly similar. Long Chen, you've opened my eyes to the world. Being able to personally see the existence of a god was extremely helpful to me, said the Zuan master gratefully. He had seen many things he once hadn't even imagined from that icy woman. It was very helpful to his enlightenment. Long Chen was still blankly staring. If that woman really was a god, then he really was a man. Zuan Master, what is a god? Asked Long Chen. The Zuan Master sank into thought for a while before saying, All you need to know is that gods aren't as sacred and holy as you imagine. In truth, it is just a kind of realm. In the immortal era, gods and immortals were not rare. But now, the world has declined and they only exist in legends. As for the exact details, when you reach that realm, you'll naturally learn of it. Before your power has reached that point, learning these kinds of secrets in advance will just add karma. And this karma, it always settles its bill with you. During your heavenly tribulations, saying that, the Zuan master's voice was a bit heavy. Long Chen's heart was also heavy. In truth, he should definitely have died to this tribulation. If he hadn't pierced the heavens and unleashed a huge amount of thunder force, that final lightning incarnation would have been even more terrifying. Fuck, if I can't start condensing the fifth star, I'll definitely die next time, thought Long Chen worriedly. But right now, he didn't know what the problem was. There wasn't the slightest sign of the fifth star. But fortunately, he had managed to enter the foundation forging realm. His gamble had paid off. Others had their immortal platforms in their dantians but he had is in his acupuncture points 108,000 acupuncture points equaled 108,000 immortal platforms. Now that he was fully recovered, he felt an unprecedented strength flowing within him. You can go for now. Remember, keep everything secret, including that god. Don't talk about it to anyone. If you tell anyone, all you'll be doing is harming them, said the Zuan master. Disciple understands. Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain. Everything was very calm. When Long Chen had disappeared from their midst, the Zuan master had simply said that he had been summoned to his side because of his great merit in battle. Boss, you've advanced to foundation forging. Guo Ran and the others were stunned. As soon as Long Chen returned, the calm of Crouching Dragon Mountain was broken. They had all been waiting for him. The higher-ups had already announced that all the devil beasts had been eliminated by the stronghold. At the same time as everyone felt a burst of relief, they couldn't help but feel a sense of loss. Now that the infernal devil abyss had been quelled, there were no more devil beasts for them to kill. That signified there wouldn't be so many points for them in the future. They would only be able to complete a few of the sect's missions for points now. As the saying went, it was easy to get used to luxury when you were poor, but hard to become frugal after being rich. Now, no one dared to spend as many points as before. Boss, did the Zuan master give you special treatment? You've already advanced to foundation forging. Currently. Long Chen's aura was still leaking out since he had only just advanced and he was unable to control it perfectly. Yup, it can count as some special treatment. He gave me some pointers that benefited me greatly. So that's why it took so long for me to return, said Long Chen. In truth, the last few days, Long Chen had been unconscious, with six of the healing hall's elders spending all their energy to heal him. His injuries had been so heavy that it had taken them three days to heal him. Wow. The Zuan master's personal pointers. Boss, are you about to ascend to the heavens? Cried Guo Ran. Are you trying to curse me? Why don't you put it more directly and tell me to rest in peace? No, boss, you misunderstand. 
I was just wondering if the Zuan Master had taken you in as an apprentice and passed his legacy on to you. Has he chosen you to be the future successor of the Zuanchen Dao sect? Guo Ran's eyes were shining with anticipation. It seemed he was already imagining how amazing and grand it would be for him once Long Chen was the Zuan Master. In truth, the Zuan Master had truly said the following to Long Chen. I was originally planning on raising you as my successor, but since you dare to even blaspheme a god, I've decided to forget about it. A little place like the Zuanchen Dao sect probably can't handle your craziness. Once Long Chen returned, they had another feast, with the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild also joining in. The Heaven Female Alliance actually brought their own food and drink as congratulations. One reason was to celebrate their accomplishments during the battle, while another was to celebrate that Long Chen was the first to break through to foundation forging amongst the new disciples. What surprised Long Chen was that even Sumo and Mu Kingsuan came. Long Chen, congratulations on advancing to foundation forging. In the future, we'll be fighting side by side. Don't forget to look after your senior apprentice sister, said Mu Kingsuan with a smile. Looking after my senior apprentice sister is fine, but I know two women who might have opinions on that, said Long Chen. When he said he would look after her, he intentionally raised his eyebrows at her in a flirtatious manner. Meng Qi and Tang Wan'er immediately turned red and hit him. On the other hand, Mu Kingsuan laughed and said, you have quite the appetite everyone knew Long Chen was joking. That last battle had just been too bitter. Even dozens of foundation forging experts had died. Just being able to live was something worth being happy about. Everyone drank and ate. It was very lively. And everyone enjoyed themselves to their heart's content. Long Chen finally fell asleep soundly as he held two beautiful women. Chapter 1094 A Natural Phenomenon Translator Born to be as the host of yesterday's party. Long Chen naturally couldn't slip away in the middle. After his wild bout of drinking, he didn't even know how he had returned to his room. In any case, he seemed to remember holding two soft bodies and sleeping more peacefully than he ever had before. In the morning, a startled cry roused Long Chen from his slumber. He got up just in time to see Men Qi and Tang Wan are running away. Long Chen was startled, but then he found that a certain place was bulging like a high mountain, looking like it had an urge to pierce heaven and earth. He a natural phenomenon, a natural phenomenon, Long Chen laughed and took a deep breath, calming himself down, that natural phenomenon slowly disappeared, jumping off his bed, he still smelled Men Qi and Tang Wan Er's scents, the sun was shining on the bed through the window, it was quickly approaching midday, lazily stretching, he heard some crackling sounds from his body, he felt full of power, like a volcano that wanted to erupt, he knew that this was the effect of having just advanced to foundation forging and not being able to suppress his aura. Looking within himself, he jumped in shock. 108,000 original runes. Long Chen saw that there was a small seed in each one of his acupuncture points. Those seeds were slowly developing. They were crazily absorbing heaven and earth's energy, but he didn't see them growing. After some careful sensing, he was startled to find that these seeds were only absorbing one ten thousandth of the energy they were sucking in the rest was being rejected. So that's what it is. The foundation forging realm revolves around absorbing the world's purest Yuan spiritual energy. No wonder it is said that Yuan spirit stones are the lifeline of this realm. Long Chen suddenly realized what was going on, and why being in possession of Yuan spirit stones in the eastern wasteland had caused the ancient family alliance, ancient races, and Pill Valley to be so shameless. He, fortunately I didn't sell these back then, or I'd have lost out. Now Long Chen understood how important Yuan spirit stones were. He looked inside the primal chaos space and saw Lai Long. It was condensed into a ball of light, looking like an egg. The self-detonation last time had been extremely harmful to Lai Long. Right now, it was using all the thunder force gained from the tribulation to undergo a rebirth. Long Chen couldn't help being stunned by Lai Long and Huo Long's intelligence. It seemed the stronger they became, the more they advanced in other aspects as well. Huo Long had even awakened its own innate ability. Huo Long's innate ability was to summon eight split bodies. He wondered whether Lai Long would awaken an innate ability once it revived through this nirvanic rebirth. He was full of anticipation. All the iron spruce oaks in the primal chaos space were withered and dead. He had been forced to be decisive back then when he had killed the final lightning incarnation of his tribulation. The reasons he had been able to escape his death this time were twofold. One reason was how he had caused the tribulation to lose a great deal of its energy by attacking it, making the final lightning incarnation weaker. 
while the other reason was that the iron spruce oaks contained an ocean's worth of life energy. If it hadn't been for that, he would have definitely died. But now, he didn't have any magical beast corpses for the black soil. He had tried using the corpses of the devil beasts, and while he found that they could be devoured by the black soil, they didn't provide any life energy. Otherwise, his iron spruce oaks would have long since grown to their peak. Leaving his room, he saw that Menki and Tang Wan'er had already freshened up. They had prepared a towel soaked in hot water, allowing Long Chen to sit back and relax while Tang Wan'er used the towel to clean his face and Menki combed his hair. Long Chen felt so blessed that he might die. Two peerlessly beautiful women were helping him clean his face and comb his hair. He didn't know how many people would die of envy if they learned of it. Long Chen, why aren't you talking? Normally, your mouth spouts so much nonsense. Asked Tang Wan'er upon seeing Long Chen's infatuated expression. This is a rare pleasure. I'm afraid if I open my mouth, you'll stuff the towel into it. That would be a waste. Said Long Chen with his eyes still closed. Putting it like this, he elicited laughter from both Men Qi and Tang Wan'er. It was like the tinkling of silver bells. After laughing, Tang Wan'er grumbled. Who asked you to be so annoying that people want to choke you after you open your mouth? You deserve all your punishment. Long Chen immediately shut his mouth and continued enjoying this warm peace. After being cleaned and dressed, Long Chen felt much more awake. Looking in the mirror, he couldn't help but sigh emotionally. Now that he thought about it, it seemed it had been many years since he had looked at his reflection. His eyes might be able to see through anything, but without a mirror, they couldn't see himself. His face was still youthful, and still full of vigorous energy, but the depths of his eyes concealed a cold sharpness. This was his first time looking so closely at himself, or perhaps it was that he was viewing himself from the point of an observer. He saw something within the depths of his eyes that made even himself afraid. What? Are you struck stupid by your handsomeness? Teased Tang Wan'er upon seeing him blankly staring at his reflection. Only then did Long Chen recover. Was he afraid of himself? Long Chen. Suddenly, a woman walked in. The only other one able to freely enter his residence was King Yu. Sister King Yu. Please sit. Tang Wan'er immediately pulled her over to a seat. King Yu was originally Tang Wan'er's maid, but the two of them were closer than sisters. Although King Yu liked to nag, she cared deeply for Tang Wan'er, making it so Tang Wan'er both loved and feared her. Why didn't you come out earlier? There are many things waiting for you to do. Think about how old you are. When will you? Long Chen, Men Qi, and Tang Wan'er all bitterly smiled. Once more, King Yu was lecturing them. In truth. She had been waiting for them to come out to get to business. After all, as a woman, it wasn't convenient for her to barge into his room. But seeing that it was noon and the three of them still hadn't come out, she finally entered. Sister King Yu, what's so important? Long Chen quickly interrupted her. Or if they let a chatterbox like King Yu continue, she could lecture them for three days and nights. Furthermore, not one sentence of her script would be repeated. That was the most painful torture. Of course there's something important. Otherwise, why would I have waited six hours just for you? It's not that I'm chiding you, but Sister King Yu, the important matter. Get to the important matter. Long Chen quickly brought her back to the main topic. Right now, everyone in the Dragonblood Legion is at the peak of sea expansion. Many people have already touched the barrier of foundation forging, but without your orders, no one dares to break through. Other than the Dragonblood Legion, the disciples from the other factions have already started breaking through. Furthermore, there's a piece of bad news. The Zhuanshan Dao Sect's Nine Ring Foundation building pills are sold out, said King Yu. How could such an important pill be out of stock? Demanded Tang Wan'er. The Nine Ring Foundation building pill was practically a must-have for sea expansion experts attacking foundation forging. With the Nine Ring Foundation building pill, a cultivator could condense their original rune easier, making their breakthrough much simpler. Furthermore, there were no side effects. It was a very important pill. Long Chen was also surprised, but he quickly sneered. Were they all bought by certain people? King Yu nodded. Yes, the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall both used the excuse of wanting to be completely sure about their disciples' breakthroughs and bought two sets of foundation building pills for their members. So all the Nine Ring Foundation building pills have been sold, and if we want any, we'll have to wait a certain amount of time. Furthermore, if we want a large amount, it probably won't be a short waiting time. The 10,000 Insect Guild and Heaven Female Alliance didn't think Hu Gishin or Fan Song would be so despicable. Even if they try to be frugal, the number of pills they can offer us is far from enough. Furthermore, this morning, 
I went to the 10,000 pill hall to ask the situation about the refining of more nine ring foundation building pills, but their reply was extremely cold. All they said was they would need time to refine more, refusing to give a concrete date. When I continued asking, that person finally impatiently said that I would have to either wait or refine it myself, even with King Yu's gentle nature. Toward the end, she couldn't help but get angry. She had essentially been driven away by the 10,000 pill hall. They're asking for a beating. Tang Wan'er was enraged. It was unexpected for the 10,000 pill hall to go so far as to even bully King Yu. Long Chen, go beat them for sister King Yu. All right, it just so happens that I was bored. Long Chen laughed sinisterly and began to walk out. It was King Yu who stopped him. You're already adults, so stop acting like children. The main point is how to resolve our current situation. Long Chen smiled. In truth, this matter is very simple. The Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall's idiots are colluding with the Alchemy Pavilion to harm us. If we urgently want the pills, we'll have to lower our heads and have them rip us off. We'll have to buy the Nine Ring Foundation building pills from them at tens of times the cost. Speaking of which, isn't the Foundation building pill an 8th tier pill with several precious ingredients? What is its price? Yes, it's very expensive. It costs 8,000 points for one. I don't know if they're trying to retrieve points from us now that we made so many points, but the price is definitely frightening, said King Yu. That's not out of the realm of possibility, but a foundation building pill truly is that valuable. My guess is that in the past, the price probably wasn't that high, and they sold them to disciples at cost. After all, the growth of its disciples is the foundation of the sect even if they don't earn anything. It's better than not allowing the disciples to advance. But 8,000 points. A. Eh? After the last battle, the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall are down to 50,000 members. Normally, each person would prepare two Nine Ring Foundation building pills for themselves. So two sets would be four pills. Then 8,000 times 4 is 32,000. And then times 50 is. Damn. They spent 1,600,000,000 points for this. Did they use everything they had? Asked Long Chen. I heard that they got 2,700,000,000 points from the battle. So that's over half their points, said King Yu. He, good, good. They want to con me? I'll make them lose all the money they invested in this plot. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. Chapter 1095 Trap Translator Born to be he. Just looking at Long Chen's eyes, I know someone's about to be out of luck. Tang Wan'er covered her mouth and laughed upon seeing Long Chen's expression. But of course, do they think they can cheat me out of my hard-earned money? Speaking of which... How many points do we have now? Asked Long Chen. 10,700,000 points, said King Yu. That many. Long Chen couldn't help being surprised. If your bracelet didn't max out, then our points would be several times greater, said King Yu. Long Chen suddenly recalled that the numerical value on his bracelet had stopped working in the battle. The Zuan master had said that the Dragon Blood Legion could buy things at half price in exchange. However, Long Chen had refused him. He didn't want to take advantage of him, and he also didn't want to owe anyone favors. In any case, he had enough points, so why be in debt to others? However, he had obtained a special tablet. That tablet granted him access to any training region in the entire Zhuanshan Dao sect free of charge. Furthermore, there was no name on it. Long Chen could lend it to others to use. Currently, he had given it to Guo Ran, and he was using the best forging room now. Inside. There were spirit stones he could use free of charge to power his forging table. Normally, using that top grade forging room cost 100,000 points a day. It was the most expensive of all the Zhuanshan Dao sect's training rooms. Giving the tablet to Guo Ran was the most efficient choice. Although we don't have your points, we are still first place amongst all the factions, and by a large margin at that. When the points were distributed, I saw that fan song, Hu Gishan as well as that Gao Xian Yang all had a greedy light in their eyes, said Tang Wan'er proudly, but she quickly became furious. I bet they came up with this plot to get our points. The Alchemy Pavilion was related to the Law Enforcement Hall. That was no secret in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Furthermore, the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall had a reason for their actions. In truth, just one pill was enough for a disciple, and two pills were already extra insurance. A second pill would increase the effect by 50%. As for the third and fourth pill, there wasn't much increase in effect, but no one could say for sure that there wouldn't be the slightest increase in effect. So by buying two sets of the pills, they could just barely get by within the realm of logic. With this excuse and their points, 
as well as the collusion of the alchemy pavilion. This trap had been formed seamlessly. If the Dragonblood Legion wanted the Nine Ring Foundation building pills, they would have to buy them from the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall. That was also legal. A single disciple would only sell two pills. That couldn't count as selling a large amount of medicinal pills. So it didn't infringe upon the rules. That was what made King Yu the most furious, while also helpless. She had already prepared herself to be ripped off. She just hoped it wouldn't be too bad. It's fine. Such a minor matter isn't worth you worrying about. Sister King Yu, I'll handle it. I'll go to the Elder Hall and recommend that the Elder Hall Master go take a trip to see the Tower Department head. Long Chen smiled. But they didn't break any rules. Telling them is useless, said King Yu. They didn't break the rules now, but that doesn't mean no one will break the rules in the future. I want to first cut off their path of retreat so that all their Nine Ring Foundation building pills rot in their hands, said Long Chen. You mean, he, yes, I can refine the foundation building pill myself. To tell the truth, I saw the Alchemy Pavilion's foundation building pills a while ago, and even if you gave me such a thing, I wouldn't want it, said Long Chen disdainfully. The Alchemy Pavilion's alchemy arts could not compare to Pill Valley's. All their high-level pill formulas were purchased from Pill Valley, and they were limited to formulas below the ninth tier. If they wanted ninth tier pills, they would have to buy them from Pill Valley. As for the eighth tier pill formulas they gave out, they were ordinary formulas with limited quality. Long Chen fundamentally looked down on these pills. What kind of joke was that? Pill Valley wasn't a fool. They wouldn't give their good things away. Otherwise, how would they make money? With his pill god memories, Long Chen didn't even place Pill Valley's medicinal pills in his eyes, let alone the Zhuanshan Dao sect's amateur alchemists. Sister King Yu, tell everyone that only those that have yet to touch the barrier should continue cultivating. The rest can all take a break. Once everyone is caught up, we'll advance together, said Long Chen. All right. King Yu clearly felt much more relaxed. It was like she was another person compared to the King Yu that had arrived. Once King Yu left, Long Chen went directly to the Elder Hall. He found the Hall Master and said he wanted to file a complaint with the Tower Department head. As a result, the Elder Hall Master immediately said that he would handle this matter himself and there was no need for Long Chen to do it personally. Long Chen immediately said humbly that he wouldn't want to trouble him, but the Elder Hall Master said that the main point was that the Tower Department head didn't want to see Long Chen, so he had to go. The Tower Department head was extremely upright. If he criticized Long Chen, there was no way to know what Long Chen would do with his temper. To avoid such an awkward situation, he'd rather stay in a safer position. Long Chen snorted upon hearing that. He didn't bother with that and just waited for news. When Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain, King Yu told him there was already someone who had secretly contacted her and said that he could sell her Nine Ring Foundation building pills if she needed them. That person was one of Hu Gishan's people. He had openly said that if the Dragonblood Legion wanted Nine Ring Foundation building pills, they would only be able to buy some from him. If they wanted to wait until the Alchemy Pavilion refined more, he, they could wait until next year. Such open peddling clearly showed they were confident in their backers. King Yu acted in accordance with Long Chen's instructions and acted hesitant. In the end asking the price, that person had immediately snickered and offered a price of 32,000 for one pill. Back then, King Yu hadn't been able to hold back a smile. Four times the price really was evil. She had said that she wasn't able to decide such a thing that she would need to discuss it with others. That person left, merely saying that she should hurry. If she took too long, the price might not be 32,000 points later. Long Chen had King Yu continue to stall them. All she needed to do was act hesitant. The next day, Long Chen received words from the Elder Hall Master that said everything was settled. The Zhuanshan Tower Supervising Department would investigate this matter. They would keep track of all the Alchemy Pavilion's business transactions and definitely wouldn't allow them to return their medicinal pills. Now Long Chen was completely at ease. He directly told King Yu there was no longer any need to stall. But it seemed the other side had also received some news and was urgently trying to contact King Yu. However, King Yu never revealed herself to them again. Now, Hu Gishan and Fan Song were both a bit panicked. But they still had one strand of hope. They thought Long Chen was intentionally competing with them in terms of patience. He was hoping to get more bargaining chips to get a better price. After all, refining Nine Ring Foundation building pills wasn't something just anyone could do. Especially not in those quantities. That was why they had been confident enough to follow through with this plan while investing so many points. 
Hu Gishan and Fan Song were acting calm but filled with worry. They had spent 1,600,000 points. That was the majority of the wealth of their factions. While the two of them worried, Long Chen was in seclusion, about to start refining pills. The pill he was refining was called the 9C Foundation Building Pill, and it was different from the Zhuangshan Dao Sect's Foundation Building Pill. It had nine main ingredients and its effect was ten times greater than an ordinary foundation building pill. It was even better than the Spirit Immortal Foundation Building Pill he had originally been planning on refining. This was an ancient pill that had disappeared from the outside world. But Long Chen had long since made his preparations. Little fellow, let's get to work. We'll take it easy for the first attempt, said Long Chen to Huo Long. This was his first time refining an eighth tier pill, and he was refining an incredibly difficult one. He, the feeling of having money is truly good. Long Chen took out an ancient cauldron that had runes carved all over it. It gave off a feeling of great age. This was a top grade eighth tire pill furnace he had bought for 10 million points, and it was an inheritance pill furnace. Other treasures were more valuable the newer they were, but this pill furnace became more valuable with age. The more medicinal pills it refined, the higher its grade would grow. Pill furnaces were different from ordinary tools. Their item spirits were able to help during the refinement process, increasing the chances of successful refinement. Furthermore, due to refining medicinal pills for countless years, the interior of the pill furnace would absorb the essence of all kinds of medicines, that allowed it to possess a kind of intimate energy with medicinal ingredients, which allowed it to refine their energy easier. This was the most luxuriant pill furnace Long Chen had ever possessed. After playing with it for a while, he decided not to immediately start refining. He held the pill furnace against his chest and used his soul to nourish it. In the alchemy world, this was referred to as awakening the spirit. It was an ancient ceremony for accepting a master. For alchemists, their pill furnaces were not just tools, but their companions. Only through perfect communication was it possible to refine higher level pills. Buzz. After an incense stick's worth of time, the pill furnace's rune slowly lit up, and a dense medicinal fragrance filled the air. Long Chen smiled. The 10 million points he had spent on it hadn't been a waste. There was an ancient item spirit within the pill furnace, and it had now accepted him as the master. Flames leaked into existence in his hand. He slowly sent them into the pill furnace, and its runes once more lit up. This time it was different. The runes were lighting up one by one, like spiritual yuan flowing through acupuncture points. The pill furnace was the same. Its runes might appear disordered, but they were carved in a set pattern. Each time a rune lit up, the pill furnace would heat up a bit more. When the final rune lit up, the entire pill furnace began to shake, and it was like it had come to life. Only now did the pill furnace fully wake from its slumber. Long Chen carefully increased the flame and poured in the medicinal powders he had already prepared. It was time to start his refinement. Chapter 1096 Top Grade Medicinal Pill Translator Born to be Clank Long Chen closed his pill furnace and looked at it with an adoring expression. He had bought a true treasure this time. This pill furnace was even better than what he had expected. Previously, he had been depending entirely on his own skills for his alchemy. But now he had a pill furnace good enough to assist him, making it much easier for him to refine pills. Even the extremely difficult to refine 9C foundation building pill was refined so easily by him. The merging of each medicinal powder also became simple. The pill furnace was exceptionally useful when there were two ingredients with conflicting properties. In order to prevent a furnace explosion, Long Chen would use his flame energy to isolate them, suppress their properties, and then slowly merge them carefully. However, suppressing their properties would result in a small loss of their spirituality. Now that he had this ancient pill furnace, things were different. The pill furnace possessed its own spirituality and it was able to merge the contradictory medicinal ingredients without losing any of their spirituality. That saved his spiritual strength and reduced the risk of a furnace explosion in addition to preserving the medicinal energy and spirituality. Buzz. The pill furnace shook slightly, and its runes once more lit up. Heaven and Earth's energy flowed in like a whale inhaling water. It brings its own spiritual energy to the refinement. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Long Chen was absolutely delighted. This pill furnace's abilities affected everything, allowing him to take it easy on many parts of the refinement. It could handle things on its own. Furthermore, each refinement was so calm. He didn't need to be tense during the refinement or watch closely as if he was trying to catch a hopping rabbit. He, it's done. Let's see its effect. Long Chen slowly opened the lid, and not even the slightest medicinal fragrance floated out. Instead, 
Several figures shot away. Those figures were the size of a palm and looked like little apes. They rapidly fled from the pill furnace. Ha ha ha. Get back here. Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. Waving his hand, those apes disappeared, transforming into medicinal pills that were drawn back to his hand. Nine plump pills lay there, light flowing around them. Not even the slightest medicinal fragrance came from them. Within their light, there seemed to be a small ape running around. Ha ha ha. A top grade pill. I can finally refine top grade pills. Long Chen laughed excitedly. On one hand, usually only 8th tier medicinal pills could be refined to the top grade level. On the other hand, if he hadn't possessed this ancient pill furnace, let alone a top grade pill, just refining a 9 ring 9c foundation building pill would be difficult enough for Long Chen at his current level. Not only was it top grade, but it was 9 top grade pills to boot. This kind of accomplishment was definitely capable of frightening a few dead alchemists back to life. Some alchemists might spend their whole lives without being able to refine even a single top grade pill. Even if they did, it would be treated as a family treasure and used as a sign of their glory. But then when Long Chen thought about it, he had a pill god's control over flames, Huo Long's cooperation, and the assistance of this pill furnace. It seemed this accomplishment wasn't anything to boast about and was only reasonable. Looking at the nine top grade pills filled Long Chen with delight. The medicinal energy in top grade pills could be rated as terrifying, as it was ten times greater than in nine ring pills. Its strongest aspect was that its trace of spirituality was able to thoroughly ignite the medicinal energy once it was in the body. After a long while of excitement, Long Chen put the nine top grade pills away and continued refining. With this ancient pill furnace, he learned what it meant to be relaxed and refine effortlessly. With each furnace of pills he refined, the faster he went, and the more adept he became. The speed of his refinement delighted Long Chen. Day after day passed, while Long Chen was rapidly refining pills, Hu Gishan and Fan Song felt each day to be as long as a year. Each day, they would stealthily inquire about the state of Crouching Dragon Mountain. The only thing that comforted them was that all the Dragon Blood Legion's people were spending each day just eating and playing. Right now, other than the Dragon Blood Legion, the other faction's disciples had gone to a certain location of the Zhuanshan Dao sect to undergo tribulation. Each day, there were hundreds of disciples successfully going through tribulation and becoming foundation forging experts. Day after day passed, and more and more disciples succeeded in advancing. But there were some exceptions. Some disciples turned to dust during their tribulation. Nevertheless, the disciples here were all celestials. Failing during a tribulation was always due to unexpected accidents. For example, some disciples would suddenly become defiant during their tribulation, and they refused to advance according to the tempo of the heavenly tribulation, and so, they were mercilessly erased. But for the majority of disciples, as long as they didn't resist and protected themselves with heavenly Deo energy, the chances of their tribulations killing them were almost non-existent. More and more disciples successfully advanced. Once they did, they entered seclusion to solidify their cultivation basis. But Fan Song and Hu Gishan were unable to calmly solidify their cultivation bases after advancing. They were too panicked. During this half a month, the absolute majority of the disciples from the five factions had succeeded in their tribulations. There was also a small portion still waiting. However, not the slightest movement came from Crouching Dragon Mountain. They had tried probing them several times, but the Dragon Blood Legion simply ignored them. They were panicking, not knowing what tricks Long Chen had up his sleeve. After another five days, Long Chen came out of seclusion and directly gathered all the Dragon Blood Legion's members. After sending word to the Elder Hall, they borrowed the Deo Sect's transportation formation to arrive in a secluded mountain valley in the surroundings of the Zhuanshan Deo Sect brothers. There's more candy for you, laughed Long Chen. He had Guo Ran distribute the medicinal pills. Boss, you wouldn't. All the disciples' faces were green. They still remembered the candy from last time like it had happened yesterday. Just hearing him say this gave them terror. But once the medicinal pills were distributed, they had no choice but to swallow them. The new healing members of the Dragon Blood Legion looked at the others with uncomprehending expressions. They saw them swallowing the pills like they were poison. As soon as they swallowed the pills, all their expressions changed. Don't be afraid. There's no poison. Do you feel like your key C is about to explode? Then that's the right feeling, laughed Long Chen. At this time, Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were both slightly pale, but they had absolute trust in Long Chen, and they bitterly endured. Boom, boom, boom. Suddenly, successive explosions rang out from their bodies. 
They felt like their keys had truly exploded, but when they carefully looked, they felt that something was off. Each of their keys had all transformed into nine keys within their dantians. Endless energy circulated within them, shocking all of them. These are nine C foundation building pills, and each of them is top grade. It will cause a detonation within your dantian and create eight more keys that will superimpose over your original key Now you temporarily possess nine keys. Eight of those keys are fake. However, only we know that, the heavens don't know, so, you understand, begin to attack the barrier, when you succeed in advancing to foundation forging, you will be able to look down on others in the same realm, ha ha ha, Long Chen laughed loudly, hearing this, everyone was delighted, looking at the nine key seas in their bodies, they roared and went all out attacking the barrier, the nine key seas exploded and then rapidly compressed, the nine key seas were just temporary, it was similar to the effect of the key explosion pill. With nine Danchen's energy overlapping, the original runes they condensed would be nine times stronger than other people's. That powerful original rune would also be temporary, but once it formed, it would be sensed by the heavenly deos. The heavenly deos would unleash heavenly tribulation based on the strength of that rune. Once that rune absorbed the energy of the heavenly tribulation, it would immediately transform, going from fake to real. This was a way to cheat the heavens. Cheating the heavens was disrespectful to the heavenly deos, but Long Chen had never had any respect for them. He had an urge to pee all over the heavens. What could the heavens do to him? The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were all going all out attacking the barrier. The wood cultivators' expressions changed because they innately feared Thunder Force. If they underwent tribulation with the others, they would definitely die. They looked at Long Chen with terror. Long Chen gave them a glowing smile like the sun. It was very warm, very intimate. Don't worry, if the heavens collapse, I will hold them up. Looking at that warm smile, listening to that confident voice, they felt their terror fade. Clenching their teeth, they closed their eyes and continued attacking the barrier. Rumble. A torrent of lightning began to fall from the heavens. When it landed on their bodies, it unleashed crackling sounds. Everyone hastily drew that thunder force into their dantians. The instant this tribulation thunder force entered their dantians, the illusory runes that they had just formed in their dantians immediately became solid. They went wild with delight. This rune had been formed based on nine of their key seas. Now, this seed had received the recognition of the heavenly deos, and it would be the foundation of their immortal platforms. Seeing that everyone had properly condensed their original runes, Long Chen said, Gu Yang, release your aura. There's no time to waste. So quicken the pace. Gu Yang roared, his aura erupting. The lightning rain immediately became lightning swords piercing down on them. Don't just stand there. Block them. Gu Yang swept out his spear, shattering a large area of lightning swords. The dragon mark warriors were still dumbfounded. They were under the impression that heavenly tribulation could not be cheated. They had to follow the sequence laid out by the heavenly tribulation, allowing it to baptize their bodies without fighting back. Those who went against it would be annihilated. But now... Long Chen's orders completely toppled their understanding. If you don't even dare to fight against the heavens, what will you be capable of in the future? Could it be that you'll simply allow yourselves to die if the heavens will it? If you're so cowardly, how are you fit to be members of the Dragonblood Legion? Shouted Gu Yang. Those Dragon Mark warriors took a deep breath and then let out roars of fury, also attacking the lightning. The lightning swords were blown apart, transforming into lightning runes that were absorbed by their bodies. The impurities in their bodies were forced out. The wood cultivators were scared witless and didn't even dare to move. They had never imagined that such a pack of crazy people who would fight against the heavenly tribulation existed. However, there was no need for them to do anything. As wood cultivators, attacking the lightning would be useless in any case. They just stood there, absorbing their share of lightning runes. There were naturally people to protect them. Gu Yang, increase the firepower. Once Long Chen saw that everyone was used to this, he called out for Gu Yang to continue. Chapter 1097 Begging to be saved Translator Born to be Gu Yang's aura rose to a new level. The runes around him began to charge against the heavenly tribulation. This was a provocation, a defiant action. It was a kind of contempt for the heavenly deos. In the view of outsiders, such action was pure suicide. But Long Chen had to make sure each warrior of the Dragonblood Legion had the courage to fight against the heavens. Otherwise, there was no way for them to cultivate a heart that would never waver. The Dragonblood warriors had long since grown accustomed to this, treating heavenly tribulation like it was nothing. Compared to the heavens, they revered Long Chen far more. 
In their eyes, Long Chen was even stronger than the heavens. The heavens only gave them an ordinary body, ordinary talent, and an ordinary fate. But Long Chen had changed everything about them. They were full of reverence and gratitude toward Long Chen. Furthermore, after fighting for so many years, they had long since grown accustomed to this kind of style of being unafraid of heaven and earth. Under the Dragon Blood Warrior's guidance, the Dragon Mark Warriors also began to toss aside their understanding of cultivation and fight against the Heavenly Deos alongside them. The Dragon Mark Warriors had trod the line between life and death several times now. Their wills were firm enough, but they still possessed an innate reverence for the Heavenly Deos and didn't dare to fight back. What Long Chen wanted was to temper their wills. Rumbling filled the world as the lightning tribulation continued. Everyone could sense a kind of anger. The heavens were angry and wanted to destroy them. All the dragon mark warriors were pale, their hearts almost leaping out of their bodies. That wasn't because they lacked courage, but because of the terror that formed in the depths of their souls. As for the wood cultivators, they were even more terrified. The pressure coming from the heavens made it so they didn't even dare to move. They were relying entirely on the others to block the lightning tribulation. The lightning was still growing stronger. The lightning swords transformed to become lightning spears and then lightning hammers that grew bigger and bigger. After two hours, the lightning hammers were several meters long. When they smashed into the dragon mark warriors, they coughed up blood. On the other hand, the dragon blood warriors were still fine. That was the difference. Although they were both rank 4 celestials, the dragon blood warriors physical bodies were several times stronger than the dragon mark warriors. That was the difference created by experiencing bitter tribulations several times. Not bad. But do you think this is enough? Are you going to collapse just because of this? Long Chen frowned at the pale dragon mark warriors. Boss, we can keep going. Cried a dragon mark warrior with an ashamed expression. They all saw that while it felt like their combat power was rapidly catching up to the dragon blood warriors. Making it so they felt like they weren't much weaker. This tribulation revealed that there was still a large gap between them and the dragon blood warriors. I don't want you to keep going. I want you to attack. What are you afraid of? Didn't I already say that if the heavens collapse, I will hold them up? Go all out attacking. No defending at all. Shouted Long Chen. The dragon mark warriors were still in defensive postures despite now daring to fight back. Nevertheless, they didn't dare to take the initiative to attack. But hearing this, they clenched their teeth. If they died, then they died. It was time to go all out. The dragon mark warriors took on an attitude as though they had accepted that they would die today. They unleashed all their power, attacking the lightning. But after just the first attack, they found that the weather seemed to have improved. Enduring the lightning also became easier. Gu Yang, continue, said Long Chen. Gu Yang walked the path of a body cultivator. His aura was the strongest, and Heavenly Tribulation loved that aura the most. So Gu Yang's provocation was the most effective. The Lightning Tribulation was unleashing lightning based on Gu Yang's cultivation base. As a result, those rank 4 celestials were unlucky. They were enduring the tribulation of a rank 5 celestial. But as everyone went all out attacking, any lightning that appeared would be instantly blown apart, and the resulting lightning runes filled the air. A sea of lightning runes had piled up. Bathed within those lightning runes, everyone felt their bodies being purified and strengthened. The wood cultivators were also bathed in the lightning runes. Although they didn't need to bear any attacks, they found that they were starting to become unable to bear it. They felt like they were about to die. Suddenly, a lightning chain flew out, pulling them out. Those wood cultivators flew to Long Chen's side. Once they were beside Long Chen, they suddenly found that the terrifying thunder force surrounding them was isolated. They relaxed and as a result, they collapsed on the ground. A huge lightning dragon swam around Long Chen. The lightning attacks falling toward Long Chen were all devoured by it. It was like a giant umbrella, protecting all of them. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Those wood cultivators felt so emotional that they were about to cry. Just now, they really had felt like they were about to die. You still have some remaining thunder force in your bodies. Don't blindly dispel it. All objects have things that restrain them and things that boost them. Thunder Force restrains you because of your wood attribute, but it can also be beneficial. Use it to provoke your wood attribute original runes. When they sense the danger, they will instinctively draw out your spiritual yuan to strengthen themselves, allowing them to grow an extra time. This is an opportunity the heavens have bestowed only to you, so don't waste it, said Long Chen. Those wood cultivators couldn't help being both grateful and ashamed. 
Long Chen had only forced them to go through such a terrifying lightning tribulation for their own good. Long Chen viewed these wood cultivators as very important, and he was preparing to keep them permanently. Of course, he would gather some related information about wood cultivators and their needs as well. Everything was within his control. The only thing was that wood cultivators possessed weak constitutions. This was their current limit. Any more and it would actually be dangerous. Boss, my constitution is weak. I also need protection. Cried Guo Ran upon seeing that Long Chen had saved the wood cultivators. He began moving over. Scram. Gu Yang. What are you doing? If even the weakest fellow has time to chat, you're clearly not going hard enough. Shouted Long Chen. Boss, just wait and see. Replied Gu Yang. A rune lit up on his forehead, and a pillar of light soared through the clouds. The tribulation clouds shook intensely. The sky split open as huge lightning beasts appeared, charging down on them. The dragon mark warriors turned green with terror. They had never seen or heard of this kind of lightning beast appearing in a tribulation. He, Guoran, don't blame your brothers for not being loyal. Next time, remember that drawing attention to yourself should depend on the situation. Gu Yang laughed wickedly. All his runes formed a resonance with the world and shot toward the sky. Wielding his spear, he crashed into the first lightning beast. The huge lightning beast blew apart, unleashing endless runes. Gu Yang was able to destroy one of those 500 meter lightning beasts with one blow, all while smiling. That shocked the dragon mark warriors, and it fully ignited their hot blood. They found that the difference between them and the dragon blood warriors was truly immense. They refused to accept this. If this continued, they would appear too useless. Kill them. All of them charged toward the lightning beasts. They once more found the feeling they had had when killing ninth rank devil beasts in the infernal devil abyss. They no longer had the slightest fear. All their fear did was make them lose face. Even they felt too ashamed to show their faces. In fact, they felt like were bringing shame to the dragon blood legion. They had to retrieve their face. Menki, Wanur, come over. Long Chen called over Menki and Tang Wanur. The two of you just needed to allow your rune to obtain the recognition of the lightning tribulation. Your bodies were originally in a flawless state, so you don't need to use this thunder force to temper yourselves. You can come watch the fun as well. He, I forgot. Menki was a bit red. On the other hand, Tang Wanner had a teasing smile. Menki and Tang Wanner both had special constitutions. The lightning tribulation was nothing more than an approval process for them and didn't really bring many benefits to them either way. Oh. Guo Ran seems to be injured, said Men Qi. Ignore him. He's once more up to his little tricks. Don't get fooled by his appearance. Otherwise, that fellow will definitely begin to wail and cry, saying he's going to die and such. His shamelessness knows no bounds. Long Chen didn't even look at Guo Ran's pathetic appearance. Holding Men Qi and Tang Wanner's hands, he pretended to talk and laugh. Men Qi and Tang Wanner also laughed. It was true that Long Chen was the one who understood Guo Ran the best. This fellow was crafty and slippery, and he didn't like suffering the slightest bit. He doesn't walk an ordinary cultivation path, so he doesn't need to do this either. Right, asked Men Qi. That's different. The power of his physical body is extremely important. Although his power is the lowest amongst the entire faction, once he puts on his armor, even I would have a headache dealing with him. Once he is clad in his armor, his power will multiply by tens or even hundreds of times. It's extremely monstrous. But his armor only multiplies his original power, and so the stronger his physical body, the more powerful he'll be once he puts on his armor. Of course, he also understands this principle, but he doesn't like to suffer this kind of pain, so he'll try to escape. He'll try to get by simply by using his armor to cover up his weaknesses, said Long Chen. In truth, Guo Ran's character was not what a cultivator should possess. If he had Gu Yang's power and made a specialized armor, adding on his concealed weapons, Long Chen would flee whenever he saw Guo Ran, but he refused to make something out of himself, other than when it came to forging, he was too lazy, lazy to the point that there was no saving him, his power was built entirely through Long Chen's medicinal pills, he didn't even cultivate, that was why his normal combat power was the weakest amongst them all, boss, as expected, not much time had passed before Guo Ran intentionally drew Long Chen's attention to his plight, what is it? Boss, I've broken my limit seven times already, and I brushed against death's shoulder nine times. I can't hold on any longer. I'm going to die. Boss, save me. As he spoke, Guo Ran coughed up blood, appearing extremely wretched. What did you say? The thunder is too loud and I can't hear you. 
said Long Chen. Guo Ran once more shouted it. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. Just as Guo Ran thought Long Chen was shocked and going to save him, Long Chen said, Sorry, my ears are ringing from the thunder, and I can't hear anything. Men Qi, quick, can you tell what he's saying? Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were both curled up in laughter from Long Chen's display. He was absolutely evil. PFFT. This time, Guo Ran truly coughed up a mouthful of blood. He could see that acting pitiable had no chance of success now. If he ran over, he'd just be kicked back. So he could only continue. Chapter 1098 Absorbing Yuan Spirit Stones Translator Born to be the lightning continued to grow stronger. The lightning beasts grew stronger, and the runes that came out of them when they exploded also grew stronger. Even if a person wasn't struck by a lightning beast, they would still have their skin split when a lightning rune landed on their body. Blood continuously poured out. Some dragon mark warriors who were attacked by the lightning beasts had their bones break and wildly vomited blood. Without a word from Long Chen, the wood cultivators who had just managed to take a breath waved their staves. Green waves of light surged out, healing those injured dragon mark warriors. Not good, boss. Guo Ran has fainted. One of the dragon blood warriors suddenly noticed that Guo Ran had collapsed. Long Chen glanced at Guo Ran who was lying there like a dead dog. It's fine. Just let the lightning whip his corpse. After saying that, Guo Ran immediately crawled up from the ground and continued fighting. This attempt was also a failure now, and he didn't dare to continue playing dead. However, very quickly, Guo Ran truly wasn't able to endure it. These terrifying lightning runes caused him to wildly vomit blood whenever they landed on his body, and this time he wasn't faking. However, Long Chen continued to ignore Guo Ran's wailing. In any case, with the healing of the wood cultivators, there was no chance of him dying. It was just painful. Guo Ran was the first to reach this point, but in just an hour, the others were also unable to bear it. They were covered in blood as these lightning runes continued to grow stronger. Each time a lightning rune entered their bodies, it would injure their internal organs. As for Wild, he didn't feel anything. He was still beating lightning beasts with his club, seemingly unable to feel the surrounding thunder force. But at the same time as their internal organs broke apart, the impurities inside them were also forced out. This was a painful way to strengthen one's internal organs. Foundation forging was an important process. This realm was a dividing range for cultivators. In the foundation forging realm, cultivators had to expel all the impurities in their bodies. Only through a flawless body could they build a flawless immortal platform. But the dragon mark warriors, as well as Guo Ran, hadn't experienced consecutive terrifying lightning tribulations. In order to fully expel all their impurities, they had to endure extra pain this time. When it came to Guo Ran, this was all his own fault. Before, he liked to slip away before it got too painful. Now, all that debt was catching up to him, with interest. As for the dragon blood warriors, they were also in a miserable state, but it was within the realm they could endure. They still didn't feel like this was very taxing. This hellish pain continued for over two hours but felt longer than a year to the dragon mark warriors. However, to Guo Ran, it felt like a century. He was about to go crazy. Long Chen finally nodded. Everyone's bodies had undergone a great change, and their auras were much more solid. The tribulation clouds in the sky were starting to fade. Buzz. Suddenly, a blood-red saber image pierced into the sky, and the tribulation clouds were cut in two. This attack caused even Gu Yang and the others to jump in shock. Long Chen was actually once more attacking the lightning tribulation. If the lightning tribulation once more strengthened, then perhaps people like Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, and the other commanders might be able to barely endure it, but the others would be instantly annihilated. But surprisingly, the tribulation clouds were cleanly cut in two, and sunlight peeked out from that crack. After that, the tribulation cloud slowly dissipated without healing. Boss is mighty. Brothers, we succeeded. We're foundation forging experts. Seeing the tribulation clouds fade away, the dragon blood legions warriors all let out heaven shaking cheers. The dragon mark warriors were cheering with utmost passion. They were unable to believe that they had survived after fighting against the heavens. It ignored me. Long Chen couldn't help being dumbfounded as he looked at the scattering tribulation clouds. He had been hoping to allow Lai Long to eat some more this time, but the tribulation clouds simply scattered. He had been hoping to use their heavenly tribulation to strengthen Lai Long as much as possible. That way, he would have a powerful trump card for his next tribulation. But looking at this scene, it seemed his hopes were completely dashed. He had miscalculated the laws of the heavenly deos. 
when the Dragonblood Legion returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain, the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect was shaken. In just one day, over 13,000 people had succeeded in their tribulations and become foundation forging experts. If they didn't see it personally, they wouldn't believe it. Even people who did see it personally were almost unable to believe it. When this news reached Hu Gishan and Fan Song's ears, they were immediately dumbfounded, their hearts cold. Looking at the huge number of Nine Ring Foundation building pills in their hands, their heads were empty. Now, these Nine Ring Foundation building pills were useless. All the Inner Sect Disciples had advanced to Foundation Forging now. As for Outer Sect Disciples, the new ones would need at least a few years to advance. The huge number of pills in their hands would simply rot. Orders had already come from higher up that they couldn't return them. They couldn't get out of this, nor could they sell them. Hu Gishan and Fan Song had lost 800 million points, making them both feel like they might cough up blood. In the end, they had no choice but to reduce the price and sell them, their target being the Outer Sect Disciples. They dropped the original price of 8,000 points to 4,000, but the Outer Sect Disciples were too poor. 4,000 points was too much for them to afford. When any Outer Sect Disciples advanced to Foundation Forging, they would normally prepare a pill that was much cheaper than the Foundation Building Pill. That pill only cost 400 points. Nine Ring Foundation Building Pills were the best pills that could be bought in the Zhuangshan Dao Sect of their type. Thus, the Outer Sect Disciples couldn't afford such a thing. And even at 4,000 points, there still weren't any takers. Despite Hu Gishan and Fan Song running over to the Outer Sect and trying to sell discounted Nine Ring Foundation building pills in the same spot Long Chen had sold his elixir back then, not one person came to buy it. In fact, not even one person came to talk to them. That made them dumbfounded. Later, they heard that Long Chen had said that as long as no one bought any, they would drop the price even further, a price so low that they had never dreamed of it. The Outer Sect was Long Chen's land. He was like a god there, and his words were practically more effective than the Zuan masters. Hu Gishan and Fan Song were so furious that they turned purple. They now realized their attempt of conning Long Chen had resulted in them being conned by Long Chen, but they still had to sell them. These pills were garbage in their hands. They needed more points to consolidate their people's cultivation basis. It had to be known that these points were not their personal points. They had gathered all the points they could from their factions and they had only barely managed to gather enough. After all, not all factions were as united as the Dragonblood Legion and willing to give all their points to the leader. Hu Gishan and Fan Song had borrowed points from their disciples to buy the Nine Ring Foundation building pills in order to make a huge profit. But let alone making a profit, they even lost their investment. No one bid at 4,000 points. So clenching their teeth, they dropped it to 2,000 points. Still, no one came to buy any. And then what made them even more furious was that even at 1,000 points, everyone still ignored them. In truth, 1,000 points was a very enticing price. But before Long Chen sent out the word, they didn't dare to buy any. Hu Gishan and Fan Song were about to go insane. They didn't even want to sell them anymore. But they also needed points. In the end, they sent out word that the lowest price would be 800 points. If no one bought any, they would rather throw them away. Now. People finally came to buy them, but now, these 8,000 point pills were sold for 800 points each, and the most infuriating thing to them was that these Outer Sect Disciples were actually grateful to Long Chen after buying the Nine Ring Foundation building pills from them. As for Hu Gishan and Fan Song, the Outer Disciples just snorted disdainfully at them. The two of them had spent all their money just to make Long Chen even more amazing in the Outer Sect smoke almost came out of their ears. News of this business sense quickly spread throughout the Zhuangshan Dao sect whether it was the inner sect or outer sect, or even the workers and commoners. Everyone knew that the two of them had become the Zhuangshan Dao sect's laughingstocks. Their perfect display of trying to steal a chicken only to end up losing the rice used to lure it had been played out to an extreme level, and their legend would be passed down generation after generation. Others would put on plays of this story, ones that were amazing and realistic. In truth. Long Chen wasn't aware of any of this. After the tribulation, he had gone into seclusion with the Dragonblood Legion. But before going into seclusion, he had told Kian Duoduo to properly cut Hu Gishan and Fan Song's flesh. This had all been done by Kian Duoduo. It went without saying that Kian Duoduo had some real business sense, and this matter was handled very beautifully. In his seclusion, Long Chen clearly felt the great power of the Foundation Forging Realm. But he also noticed something that he didn't know what to do about. In this realm, others only had one original rune. 
but he had 108,000. That made the difficulty in advancing absolutely monstrous. Although in one-to-one -one comparison, the energy within one of his original runes was only about a tenth compared to the energy in Tang Wan or, or Gu Yang's runes, he still had 108,000 of them. The difficulty of his advancement was thousands of times greater. Now, seven days had passed, and everyone had already consolidated their cultivation basis, making their aura steady. But Long Chen's aura continued to surge out of his control. In his helplessness, Long Chen could only take out a Yuan spirit stone, circulating his spiritual energy. He slowly extracted the Yuan spiritual energy inside. This Yuan spirit stone came from the immemorial path. It was a gift the aboriginals had sent him, and now they finally had a use. Yuan spiritual energy slowly poured into Long Chen's body through his hand. That pure energy was the most original energy of heaven and earth, the energy that had existed when the world had first formed. Long Chen felt like spring water was flowing throughout his body. All his pores opened, and his acupuncture points greedily absorbed this energy. Long Chen saw that his original runes were beginning to grow hundreds of times faster than when he cultivated on his own. Crack. The Yuan spirit stone in his hand shattered. After all its Yuan spiritual energy was extracted, it broke. Long Chen took out two Yuan spirit stones and continued absorbing their energy. Originally, when it came to consolidating one's realm, the best option was to rely on your own energy. Although it would take a bit longer, it would make your realm more solid. But Long Chen couldn't wait. Others might have only needed a week, but he would probably need two years like this. What kind of joke was that? If he took two years consolidating his realm, everyone else would already be preparing to attack the Jade Core realm. Long Chen spent 300 Yuan spirit stones to completely satisfy the original runes in his acupuncture points, allowing his aura to finally stabilize. This time, I'm probably completely screwed. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. Chapter 1099 The Bell Tolls Once More Translator Born to be he was definitely doomed. Just condensing the embryonic form of his original runes took 300 Yuan spirit stones. His realm had only just stabilized, and he couldn't even count as having reached the first vestige of foundation forging. That required condensing his original runes nine times and stacking them against each other before advancing. Stabilizing one's realm after breaking through was the easiest part of that realm, and the one that required the least energy. To advance to the first vestige would require several times the energy. Just that would be nothing, but then he would have to advance to the second heaven stage, and so on and so on. All this required more and more energy. Long Chen didn't dare to imagine how many Yuan spirit stones he would need to advance all the way to the twelfth heaven stage. Having obtained one billion Yuan spirit stones in the immemorial path, he had thought that he would be able to advance without worry in the foundation forging realm. In fact, he had thought he would have so many leftover Yuan spirit stones that he would be able to exchange them for even more resources. Now he wasn't at all confident that 1 billion Yuan spirit stones would be enough for him to reach the peak of foundation forging. A rune appeared in Long Chen's palm. This was his original rune. It was circular, with tiny little ripples inside it. It seemed like a pearl packed with specks of dust, yet also like a cosmos filled with endless stars. The rune unleashed a gentle light that wasn't at all berserk. And yet, it caused the space around it to twist, as if the world around it was water. It contained an indescribable rhythm. Is this my original rune? Or my core rune? Will I be able to use divine abilities through it? Why can't I sense anything at all? Long Chen stared blankly at this rune. Closing his eyes, he tried to sense it. This rune seemed to be in a strange state of slumber, and he was unable to form a resonance with it. Although it's in a dormant state, it's able to supply me with endless energy and each one of them is absorbing the outside world's energy to nourish itself. Now I don't just have to rely entirely on my four key C's for energy. That was what made Long Chen the most excited. Now, he not only had four key C's of energy, but he also had 108,000 acupuncture points full of energy. Putting away his original rune, Long Chen smiled. With these 108,000 acupuncture points, he was filled with confidence. Leaving his seclusion, he saw that the majority of the Dragonblood Legion was no longer on Crouching Dragon Mountain. After asking around, he heard that they had all gone to the Zuanshan Tower in order to comprehend the Zuanshan Catalog. The Zuanshan Catalog was normally only open to Foundation Forging Disciples. They only had one chance, and whether or not they could grasp it was up to themselves. However, because the amount of space was limited, many people had to line up, and so a portion of the Dragonblood Legion remained at home. 
Having just advanced to foundation forging and consolidated their realm, they needed some time to adapt to their newfound power. It wasn't advisable to immediately start fighting, so they were quite bored now. Tang Wan'er was gone to comprehend the Zhuanshan catalog. Rank 5 Celestials didn't need to line up, so Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Guo Ran had also gone over. In the tribulation, Guo Ran had lost half his life, but he was an unkillable cockroach. Through some incredible dogshit luck, he had condensed a special original rune. Through the Forging Pavilion Master's inspection, he learned it was a very rare forging divine rune. In other words, he had truly gained the qualifications to eventually grow into a forging god capable of forging divine items. Hearing that, Guo Ran's tail had immediately stuck up high into the sky. He had just been about to start showing it off when the forging pavilion master tossed him into the Zhuanshan catalog. He pointed out which line referred to the forging Dao and had him comprehend it. It was much more direct than when Long Chen had randomly picked a bunch of lines. The other disciples had the same treatment. The elders would point out which line they should comprehend based on their specific talent. Long Chen had also just consolidated his realm, so he temporarily had some time. He took Men Qi for a stroll through Treasure Gem Island. On the way, countless people were toppled over by Men Qi's beauty, but then seeing Long Chen, they hastily looked away. Long Chen, your infamy in the Zhuanshan Dao sect has reached the point that many people are afraid of you. Men Qi couldn't help but feel that it was funny as she watched those disciples immediately flee and hide upon seeing Long Chen. She held his hand as they walked. In the Zhuanshan Dao sect, for a man and woman to hold hands as they walked was a very unbridled kind of conduct. That was because the Zhuanshan Dao sect did not permit dual cultivation. That was part of the Dao principles of the Zhuanshan Dao sect if a pair were to marry, then their status as disciples would be revoked, and their monthly rations would disappear, making them commoners. Normally, only disciples who had reached the end of their cultivation and had no hope of ever advancing again would marry in the Zhuanshan Dao sect and start creating heirs. Experts in the Zhuanshan Dao sect could have countless followers, and there could be some shady relationships, but there definitely wouldn't be anyone who dared to walk so openly while declaring their relationship. But Long Chen didn't care about that. He knew that while Men Qi was bashful, she also thirsted to be taken care of. This conduct was a kind of proof of his feelings for her. That's because they're guilty inside. If they didn't once curse me, then they definitely once slandered me behind my back. Or they're just jealous. Otherwise, they wouldn't look at me with such terror, said Long Chen. Having advanced to foundation forging, he found that his mental realm had also increased. These people who hit upon seeing him only did so because they were guilty. Once they arrived on the streets of Treasure Gem Island, they wandered around looking at the wares on both sides of the street. If the people around them weren't all high-level cultivators, they would think this was the secular world. Holding hands as they strolled, Men Qi smiled. She was happy and satisfied with just this. This kind of peaceful ambience was extremely rare. Men Qi, do you ever think about your family? Asked Long Chen. Not really. They probably don't think about me either. Men Qi's eyes reddened slightly. Long Chen immediately became embarrassed. Having an urge to slap himself in the face, Men Qi had been taken away by the Wind Spirit Pavilion as a child. As a little girl, Men Qi hadn't wanted to leave. She had cried and begged her parents not to send her away, but all she got was harsh berating. Then she also saw her parents' smiling expressions as they received gifts from one of the Wind Spirit Pavilion's elders. At that time, her heart had shattered, and once she joined the Wind Spirit Pavilion, she was treated as a future daughter-in-law by the Pavilion Master. Her fate was entirely in other people's hands. Unable to see any hope, she had thought about killing herself many times. Then when the Wind Spirit Pavilion learned she had a fiancé, they had wanted to kill him. Taking pity on Long Chen since he was innocent, she had personally gone over to break their engagement. That had completely changed her fate. So now she was very easily satisfied and felt very fortunate. However, the initial attitude her parents had had for her still caused her pain that could not be healed. Men Qi was kind-hearted, but the way her parents had treated her had deeply wounded her. She was unable to forgive them. Sorry, Long Chen awkwardly apologized. Fool, what do you have to be sorry for? I feel very happy to be here with you. Men Qi smiled, her eyes full of her deep love. Looking at Men Qi's sincere smile, Long Chen felt even more ashamed. He owed his women far too much, so much that he would never be able to pay it back in his lifetime. He wanted to promise something but he suddenly found he couldn't. There was nothing he could promise right now. 
He wasn't even able to solve the mystery of his origins, nor did he even know what enemies he was facing. There was also that voice in his dreams that urgently pressed him on, like a constant stone on his heart making it hard for him to breathe. Long Chen, don't blame yourself. We chose to accompany you on our own. Whether you ascend to the heavens or fall to hell, whether you become a god or devil, we will still accompany you. In truth, Wanner and I both feel happy. In comparison, I'm sure Ziaokian, Zhikyu, and Chu Yao feel the worst. We're all working hard so we can reunite as soon as possible and fulfill your desire. Toward the end, Men Qi's face became incredibly alluring like peach blossoms in bloom. Long Chen involuntarily felt a fire ignite in his heart. Looking at Men Qi, he reached out to grab her waist. Don't. There are too many people here. Men Qi jumped, hastily forbidding him. How shameless to do such a thing in a public place with so many people. Do you think the Zhuanshan Dao sect is your home? Just at this moment, a long-faced man with a few pockmarks on his face coldly shouted from nearby. Long Chen was immediately infuriated, while Men Qi was too embarrassed to look. Long Chen turned to see that the person talking was a disciple from the previous generation. His cultivation base had reached the late foundation forging realm, and the heavenly Dao runes around him had six colors. He was a rank six celestial, but his aura was clearly turbulent, showing that he had only just advanced to the sixth rank. He was not yet able to perfectly control his new heavenly Dao energy. Long Chen recognized him. He was someone who had once stood behind Gao Xianyang. The reason Long Chen remembered him was because of his face. Not just anyone was capable of growing such a long face. It was like a brick. So it'd be strange if he didn't remember it. However, Long Chen clearly recalled that he had only been a rank 5 celestial back then. Now he had advanced. This brick-faced expert had made quite a few points in the last battle. He spent all those points on undergoing the Heavenly Tower Blessing. This Heavenly Tower Blessing was similar to the Zhuanshan Blessing the Inner Sect disciples had been given when they first joined the Inner Sect but it was stronger as this blessing was focused on a single disciple. There was a certain chance that the disciple would be able to condense a new Heavenly Dao rune and advance their celestial rank. The cost of undergoing the Heavenly Tower Blessing was extremely terrifying both for the sect and the disciple. This person had spent 10 years of savings to get this opportunity, and he had actually succeeded, inflating his confidence. Today, he had just been thinking of buying a kind of heaven-consolidating pill to stabilize his heavenly Dao energy, but instead he ended up running into Long Chen and Men Qi acting all love dove. He was jealous and envious, and he immediately spouted some vile words. What are you looking at? Sluts. Fuck off. Sneered the brick-faced man. Spitting on the ground, Men Qi's expression changed, not because she was angry, but because she felt something bad was about to happen. Dong. Long Chen's gaze was cold as a drop of his blood landed on his badge. The sound of a bell resounded throughout the Zhuanshan Dao sect he had initiated a life and death challenge. Chapter 1100 Just Who is Courting Death? Translator. Born to be Long Chen. Men Qi looked at Long Chen with a grateful expression. Long Chen could laugh off people insulting him. But now that someone had insulted her, it was equivalent to touching his reverse scale. Long Chen immediately became a god of killing. You. You're courting death. The brick-faced man was enraged and startled, not expecting Long Chen to be so direct. Furthermore, Long Chen was looking at him indifferently as if he were a corpse. There wasn't the slightest emotion in his eyes. Looking at Long Chen's expression, the brick-faced man actually felt a kind of fear appear in his heart. Who initiated the life and death challenge? Suddenly, an icy shout rang out, and one of the protective elders of Treasure Gem Island came out. Disciple challenged the senior disciple. There is no rest until death between us. Please give your consent. Elder, said Long Chen coldly. When the elder saw that it was Long Chen, his pupils shrank. He clearly recognized this figure that had almost turned the Zhuanshan Dao sect on its head. He felt a headache coming on. Do you accept the challenge? Having recognized Long Chen. He didn't bother trying to change his mind. If he ever listened to others, he wouldn't be called Long Chen. He directly turned to the brick-faced man. HMPH. Since he wants to die, I'll help him out. Disciple accepts. Sneered the brick-faced man. A ruthless and sinister light appeared in his eyes. The elder was silent for a while, seeming to wait for something. Then he said, the challenge is accepted. The life and death battle will begin two hours from now. Novaloon.com cm after saying that, he left. Long Chen and the other person had a bright rune appear on their badges as proof of their imminent battle. They only had two hours to prepare. Long Chen, 
prepare a good coffin for yourself. And don't worry, I'll look after your woman for you. Ha 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 pow. The brick-faced man had only just finished speaking when a hand slapped across his face. A huge explosion sound rang out, and his head almost exploded. All his teeth flew out in a beautiful arc, stunning all the people watching. The brick-faced man coughed up blood. That slap caused his face to cave in, making him look extremely bizarre now. Courting death, the brick-faced man roared and his spiritual yuan erupted. The pressure of the late foundation forging realm appeared, causing space to become heavy. Who dares to be so unbridled in Treasure Gem Island? The elder that had just left returned, shouting, Do you two want to be punished? What's going on? He was going too fast and bumped into my hand. If you don't believe me, ask him, said Long Chen indifferently. It was the same excuse, and this elder couldn't bear it. This was exactly how Long Chen had slipped out of his punishment last time. Long Chen, I admit to featuring for now, but in two hours, I'll take your life, said the brick-faced man, clenching his teeth. Except he had forgotten that he had no teeth now. That senior disciple left with a belly full of fire, while Long Chen and Men Qi also took off. After they left, the people watching the fun also scattered. They called over their friends and gathered at the life and death stage. There would be a good show to watch now. In the beginning, people had been flabbergasted to hear that bell. It was very rare for core disciples to fight life and death battles between them. The newcomers had only gone through such a thing once. Now they asked around and learned that it was Long Chen who had once more initiated a life and death battle. Hearing that it was initiated by Long Chen and that he was challenging a senior disciple who had just advanced to become a rank 6 celestial. All of them were shocked. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen really is lively. Let's go cheer him on. We definitely have to cheer for him. He's the pride of our outer sect. Although the life and death stage was in the inner sect, even outer sect disciples could go watch. Countless disciples flocked over like a tide. What? Boss initiated a life and death challenge? Fuck. What are you still waiting for? Look after our home? What's the point? Who dares to come and steal our stuff? Quick. Quick. The faster brothers. Go hold a spot for us. The dragon blood legion quickly rushed over. Not even leaving a single person behind on crouching dragon mountain. All their important valuables were on them already. So there was no need to worry about thievery. In the elder hall. The various elders were looking at each other speechlessly. They were in the palace. Looking at the sea of people outside the life and death stage. Long Chen really is hardworking. He doesn't waste a single moment. Li Changfen bitterly shook his head. It goes without saying that after he arrived, the Zhuanshan Dao sect has become livelier. Other elders also bitterly smiled. How could it not be lively? In just this short time, how much trouble had Long Chen caused? Furthermore, each matter was so huge that it was frightening. But Long Chen did it so naturally and calmly, and he didn't do it one by one. No, the trouble he caused came in an unending flood. The matter inside the infernal devil abyss was a secret known only to Long Chen and the Zuan master. The others thought that the sect had activated the stronghold to kill the devil beasts. And so the Zhuanshan Dao sect would have to enter a time of calm to recuperate. But the peace had only lasted for a few days before Long Chen broke it. No matter how people put it, Long Chen was on the side of the elder hall. And so they had to look after him. That was what gave these elders the biggest headache. Long Chen challenged the rank 6 celestial Luo King Fang? Is he trying to lose? In truth. The shadow of the law enforcement hall is behind this. Rather than saying Long Chen is causing trouble, it's more accurate to say that they are intentionally finding trouble for him. Yes, although he's strong, his brains go out the window when his reverse scale is touched. No matter how obvious the trap is, he just jumps right in. He only just reached foundation forging and can't even count as having reached the first heaven stage. Even though Luo King Fang only just underwent the heavenly tower blessing to advance to the sixth rank. There's no way Long Chen can beat him when he's already reached the seventh heaven stage of foundation forging. The elder hall was worried. They didn't have a favorable opinion of Long Chen's odds. However, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had seen his power, and they trusted the Zuan master wouldn't allow such a talented person to be killed. But even if he kept his life, what about his undefeatable Dao? Once defeated, his Dao heart might directly crumble. The elder hall master said, All of you have been fooled. Although Long Chen's weakness is obvious, he isn't a fool. He has his own plans. Furthermore, don't look down on him. Even if Long Chen can't beat Luo King Fang, it won't be so easy for Luo King Fang to beat Long Chen. Most importantly, 
Long Chen has an almost berserk thirst for battle based on his confidence in never being defeated. Once that's summoned, Luo Qingfang will probably reveal an opening due to the distraction, and so the chance of him dying is actually quite high. Now that the Elder Hall Master said this, the others recalled the truth. Long Chen's most terrifying aspect was precisely his manner of fighting which was almost suicidal. When Long Chen put his life on the line to fight, he was frighteningly calm. If a person was intimidated by that, it was very easy for them to lose their life right there and then. While the Elder Hall was busy discussing this, within the Law Enforcement Hall, the demoted Vice Hall Master Luo Fan was smiling. Have you messaged Luo King Fang? Asked Luo Fan. He's already been told to immediately use his full power to kill Long Chen within three moves. Killing him in one move would be best. Laughed one of the elders by his side. This person was also a Vice Hall Master. He had always been Luo Fan's trusted aide. Good. Long Chen must die, or there'll be no way for me to dispel the hatred in my heart, said Luo Fan sinisterly. The elder didn't say anything. Looking at Luo Fan's back, his mouth curled into a faint smile, but it quickly disappeared. All the large departments were putting their attention on the life and death stage. They couldn't understand who had approved this unfair battle. Was it the tower department head, or the Zuan master? While the entire Zuanshan Dao sect was rattled, Long Chen was slowly walking around with Men Qi. Although they were also going toward the life and death stage, their footsteps were very slow and easy as if they were just taking a stroll. How assured do you feel? After a long while, Men Qi finally voiced her concern. I have no assurance. Long Chen shook his head. You. Men Qi's expression changed. Comma because I have no need for such a thing. Continued Long Chen. Stop taking such a big breath while you talk. Rebuked Men Qi. HMPH. He dared to curse my woman? This time. I'll give that pack of idiots a real lesson. I'll make it so they finally feel pain. Or they'll continue trying to provoke me. A housefly isn't dangerous. But it's very irritating. Said Long Chen. Long Chen. Thank you. Men Qi held Long Chen's arm and leaned her head against his shoulder. She had a blessed smile on her face. The feeling of being protected was a good one. Especially when it was from the man you liked. Men Qi. There's no one around right now. Why don't we test the temperature in each other's mouths? Long Chen looked around, and seeing there was no one around, he probed her attitude. No, definitely not. Men Qi turned away bashfully, but she followed it up with, Once you win and we go home, we can talk about it more then. Toward the end, her voice was as quiet as a mosquito's and even her neck was red. Ha ha ha, you said it, not me. I'm looking forward to it, said Long Chen with great anticipation. It had been a long time since he had tested her temperature. Men Qi blushed but didn't run away. She bravely nodded her head, making Long Chen even more delighted. He had an urge to start the battle right now. When Long Chen reached the life and death stage, the sea of people around it immediately erupted into an uproar.